You guys, I got up to make a cup of Sencha tea while I just, you know, gave people time to file in. I come back. We're at a level 2 hype train. I've been raided by Star Shard. What is wrong with all of you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good. We we have we have people um uh, yeah, and plus I come back, I, I look at chat, and there, there's someone who has uh, made re remade my balls with, with emojis. We have um, the, the Speed Luigi uh, licking my feet. Yeah, no, this, this is good. This is good. This is, this is where I hoped I would be when I started trying to build an audience online. This is this is everything that I wanted. Hmm. Tea's good. Hmm. Little weak. It's a Saturday morning. I've got no date, a cup of tea, and a lore in L stream. Let's rock. Well really. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you're saying that you're not inviting dates to, to, to watch my stream. What are you doing with your life? I mean, really, you could be doing so much better. <laughs> That's ideal, right? Man, I'm, I'm just thinking about the things that I've got in store for this stream. Two things in particular. And I realize this might be the boldest thing that you could share with your date. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I need to catch up. Well, first of all, Starshard, thank you so much for the raid. Enjoy all of you. <laughs> I I hope so. Are you are you making are you making a heart with someone else's heart like left side heart emote and a Lauren foot? TH is is that the plan? Is that what we're doing today? Is this what we're doing today? Chat woke up and chose violence. Star Shard, thank you so much for raiding me. And then, of course, we have Les Subs. Nick Whatever TV has been subbed for four months now. I don't know. Saying of course makes it sound like it, that there's an expectation when there isn't. It it still surprises is maybe the wrong word. It it's still heartening that people are so supportive, and it it is interesting to me. I I feel like I break a lot of the rules just no matter where I go um, on YouTube, for example. I like. I, I upload, you know, once in a blue moon. Although I'm I'm hoping to upload, you know, more regularly after this new down the rabbit hole. I like I come on Twitch and like in, instead of evenly distributed subs, I notice people like to sub uh, right at the beginning and uh, not interrupt the content, which I personally find uh, heartening because. <laughs> Because people are so invested in the content, it's like don't don't want to interrupt it. It's cool. It's cool. I, I'm glad that I can. I, that that is my suspicion as to what's happening. Can people like confirm that they like don't want to interrupt what we're looking at? Because I'm curious. Oh yeah, Ika Pika. Um, I I gifted out some subs to Kirpe, and Kirpe. Uh, it, you you just so happen to be one of them. <laughs> mm. Ah, Sentra's a little bit weak. I think I need more leaves. I also really need a Japanese teapot for Sencha. Sencha is just something I didn't get into, um, but it is a world unto itself. It's wild. Hmm. Malia, um, good news. The the vods stick around for two months. Now, because I'm partnered. 
Kirpe, Kirpe is here. Hello, Kirpe. I I wanted to show all of you. Uh, we have we have one more emote coming in. Hey, Lou. Um, we have one more emote coming in, and I want to share it with all of you. Let me, let me show you the power of my ass, man. Let me let me just grab it real quick. And here we go. Uh, this is going to be our final emote until we get more emote slots, and I don't know when that'll be. Oh, three more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, two are already in the drive folder. Oh, sick. Um, I need to get those uploaded. Sorry you guys don't have those right now, but um, here is the sad emote that you all can look forward to. <laughs> it's yet a concept, and I'm like, we need to make it more sad. And he was like, okay. And he just went hard. <laughs> Womp. This is so good. No, um, I'll, I'll add the emotes after the new emotes after stream. So on Tuesday, we will have more. Something I wanted to mention as well is next Friday, I have uh, so next Thursday, there won't be a stream. But next Friday, there will be because I'm going to be looking at mobility Mary with um, with Mary. Yeah, Mary, Mary weather, not not Mary, not mobility Mary herself. Um, she is MIA. Oh my god, people <laughs> people recognize that I was referencing gamer poop. Oh, okay. I'm thinking. I it was there anything else that I wanted to address before we got started? Yeah, of course. We have the that we have subs. Goodness gracious. I get sidetracked so easily. Nick Whatever TV has been subbed for four months now. I saw they like as I was getting up after um after so I, I send stream live and then I'll get up and make a cup of tea usually while uh, while people file in. And I <laughs> right as I got up, I saw that Nick Whatever is subbed. Four months, thank you so much. Contra Perry has been subbed for six months. And they say, always nice to spend my afternoons listening to horrors narrated by Fred. <laughs> I'm glad that I can make your day a little worse. Uh, Nelson JD has been sub for two months now and says, Final Fantasy House shakes fist. Thank you very much, Nelson. <laughs> Lost in Bokeh with 200 bits. Again, like, the bits don't highlight the the message if if you gave a message with it and i am sorry let me know if you said anything with it uh oblivion has oh oblivion Ob i get it i get it big brain <laughs> big brains in chat for me because i i figured it out Thank you very much, Oblivion, for the four months. Amos de Famos. You mean Amos E? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits. Pimp Master Stallion has been subbed for seven months now. And they say, wow, seven months already. Been watching down the rabbit hole content longer, but I'm glad to be here with all of you. I'm... It's amazing how... There, there are some people who have been around on my Twitch streams, even though they've been so inconsistent, you know, months without a stream, just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Then I got a rig and I realized, like, okay, no, this is perfect. Uh, this basically gives me license to just talk about weird things online. It's perfect. Uh, adds that visual element that we were missing. Simply Seamus gifted a sub just to the people. Uh, sub-communism. <laughs> and Lawson Bokeh gifted out five subs. 
Thank you so much. It's... It's meaningful, okay? Look, subs come with that extra meaningfulness where it's like people like my stuff. And so they want, like, they're enjoying the streams. And I understand that it's also how some people, like, so for some people, it's sort of a support of all the content. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that you like all of it. <laughs> the streams are really nice. I've been, I've been enjoying it a lot. Nice Reminders has been, has been subbed for two months now. And we finished the hype train at level four. Congratulations on your scam motes. Scam, ski, ski, ski motes, ski motes. I don't want to say that. I'm not saying that. Crab. Jumpy8 has been subbed for four months now. And they say, I missed you, fat nuts. T.L. Bean. Thank you very much. Unwashed Reptile gifted out a sub just to the people. Oh my god, I, I need a, um, for when people gift subs, I need, like, a, a Soviet national anthem <laughs> on my soundboard. <laughs> and Weast of East has been subbed for four months. Thank you very much, and they just... Gi they give a shadow emote. You know, I want you to know how bold it is for you to sub to someone's channel and then make your sub message emotes from someone else's channel. <laughs> that is a power move. <laughs> Would it get TOS? Do you think so? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I do love Sencha. I might... Hmm. I think I know what I need to do. I know what I'm going to do, like, this weekend. Hmm. The Chad move is to use Zone's emotes. Oh, like Zone... Zone... Zone Tan? The, the artist, right? Does anyone have them? <laughs> Look, I will only accept subs today if you... Put a zone emote in them. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who subbed. And, of course, looks like we're gonna have to flood everyone with beans. So, everyone, join me. It looks like 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 it Lick the bean. God, the, the vine lug. The speed Luigi. How did the speed Luigi come to be? Was he just drawing a Luigi in, um, the, uh, one of, like, one of the progenitors of Gardic Phone? Lick the, <laughs> with the limes emote. Can we get some reverb distortion on that bonus bean room? Ask and thou shalt receive. <laughs> okay, the the way I the, the way I describe um I, I know I'm jumping back a minute here, but the the way I describe the Soviet Union to people is um the, the leaders of the Soviet Union nationalized all of the like private industry and then instead of like that's step one, right? And then step two is you're supposed to give it back to the the workers. You basically remove the bosses, and then people they, that then the the people working there can self determine. So basically, the, the Soviet Union just took all of the industry and then said, "We did it. <laughs> We're communists now." <laughs> they just held on to everything. That's my understanding. My very basic understanding. Is that accurate? Okay, people in chat are like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm not just I'm not just talking out my ass. They did step one and then they just said we did a communism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
man, it's so funny how I was so worried about talking about things like politics, and then I just start, like, going off like this <laughs> on my Twitch stream. I just stopped giving a shit. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my god, I, I heard a story. I heard a story about um I what was it in Russia? I, I think it might have been in Russia where Oh no, I you know what it was? I think it was one of the Balkan states where you know they they became quote unquote communist and um then the idea was red was supposed to be the color of progress, but street lights had red as stop. So they replaced all the street lights so that red was now go and green was stop. And, and there were so many car crashes that they had to reverse it. I forget. I forget what country this was. Does anybody? Is anybody? Oh, it was China. Was that China? It wasn't even one of the Balkan states. That was just fucking China. Oh, that was. Oh, you're right. No, you're right. That that was. Oh, that 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 was Mao. Okay, that that was. Okay, that was China. Gotcha. I don't know why I assumed it was one of the Balkans. I guess I just you know with with current current events, current year. Um. <laughs> I, I figured it was one of the Balkans, but no, um, it, that's, that's amazing. Oh, China. Learned it from the Mandalore Warhammer 3 video. You know, that might be where I heard it. I think that was where I heard it. Hmm. Oh, these streams are a fucking mess. How do you tolerate me? <laughs> Oh my god, could you could you imagine if someday I brought someone like Whiskey Dingo or something onto the stream? Because like, who have my guests been? I, I haven't had many guests. Um, I need Mike. Um, Mike is going to be coming on stream in like the relatively near future. And what we're going to do, I don't know. Uh, but we will. <laughs> but like, could you imagine fucking Whiskey Dingo coming on and just being... Like, so high energy. <laughs> that would be pure madness. You don't have to be here. I mean, yes, you do. Oh, God, people are going to leave now that they realize they can. Now they realize they can. Oh, no. <laughs> the mess is what we come here for. You sure? Art. Hey, are you? Oh, that, that's a bean button. That I... <laughs> That was the bean button. Are you sure about that? Oh, that I need. Okay, no, I need that on my soundboard too. Um, are you sure about that? Um, there we go. Okay, no, that that's going on the soundboard too. I, uh, you know, okay. I I was talking with Mike about a stream deck. Right? Like, I asked him, you know, I know that you use one. Like, what? Like, how has it been for you? And he said, it's fantastic. The only thing I, I, I wish is that I had gotten the um, the larger one. So I decided to uh, grab one. Um, and I got the big one at, at his recommendation. And I found, I, so far, I found myself not really using all of the buttons. I... Um... I haven't been using them, but now I'm like starting to think about, okay, you know, what, what, what things do I want for my soundboard? And I'm making the list and I'm realizing, oh God, it's a really good thing that I got the big stream deck. <laughs> Did I say steam deck? I meant stream deck. What's my words per minute? I don't remember. Um, Meriwether has a higher words per minute than me, but it mines reasonably fast. Hey Rogue. How have you been? I like I'm I'm so sorry I've been absent from Eve. I've just been buried. I've had so much shit going on. It's I I'll have more time when the video's out. Oh, did you did you see? Um there was an official announcement on um on the the Eve community post talking about um 
like that down the rabbit hole, the first three hours of, of the new down the rabbit hole are going to be screened at FanFest. So I need to make the announcement. But yes, um, officially, I am going to be screening the first three hours of the new Down the Rabbit Hole. It originally was going to be the uh, the entire video, and then I realized that I'm going to need more than five hours for it. So I, I chatted with them. Originally, it was going to be four hours, but then I was like, hey, guys, look, this is going to be massive. Uh, could we just do the first three hours? Because um, the first three hours will be... Um, about that will be at about the end of the great war um in 2007 between the northern coalition and um and red swarm against band of brothers aka band of developers ha 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 uh, <laughs> oh the so someone asked what the um what the lore and leave emotes based on it's based on people leave when you have to plan your day around watching down the rabbit hole, you can pause and like finish it another day. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm aiming for a June or July release now. It just needs more time. Yeah, you will understand. You will understand. Look, it took like two hours to get to the entrance of Goon Swarm. There is so much story. Oh, Rogue, uh, you will like this. I got in contact with uh, the people who are in charge of the uh, wormhole history, and they're going to be helping me with uh, wormhole history in the video because I absolutely, I feel like wormholers are so neglected in any discussion of EVE Online when they're like the fucking Mad Max Raiders of the EVE world. And it's, oh, they, they deserve so much more attention. Because they're so cool. I mean, like, obviously I think so because I'm a wormholer. Although I did lose all of, like, all of my ships because... <laughs> because I neglect, like, I didn't move them before the unanchoring. Oh, you got into hard knocks. Congrats. Very nice. Oh, well. All my ships gone. <laughs> Oh, God. It's okay. Um, although, like, I should be able to get some of them back. The Yeah, the I, I, I was intending, like, there should have been plenty of time for me to go in and get my ships, and then they accidentally unanchored the, the fucking starbase, and everyone's shit got ejected. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna have to re-earn some stuff, but it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. My ships have been funged. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Eve. Okay, look, it, it, in Eve Online, just be ready to lose everything at a moment's notice is just how it goes. Like, you just roll with it, man. And especially now that you don't lose skills on death, who cares? You, you can, that's the thing about Eve. I feel like Eve Online puts things in perspective because at the end of the day, it's just money. You can always make more money. Like, of like, <laughs> that that's just how Eve works, man. Like, I I feel like there there is a sense among most Eve players because money drives a lot of things in Eve Online. But if you lose money, it's like, so what? Money comes and goes. Bunny. The, oh, this song is just quiet. I was like, what the fuck happened to the music? That you can always make more money to... Uh, so basically what I'm saying is YOLO into um, into Bored Apes because that is the only sensible option. <laughs> buy m Make money to buy apes so that you can sell them to buy more apes. <laughs> no, it, it's... Uh, the, the the whole being able to make more money it, it's it, it it is definitely an eve online thing obviously that doesn't apply so much to real life right <laughs> eve online though like money you you don't have like a base cost of living you don't really have bills so you can you can just always make more money in eve online obviously it doesn't work for real life As someone who's played E for about a decade and lost so many billions of isk and chips and equipment, I feel this deep. Yeah. 
EVE Online, like, it's not real life. You don't have to worry about losing money. It's because it's it's EVE, right? It's video game. Hmm. Sippy. Yeah, it's e bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to feed yourself in Eve Online. That's a that's a pretty big difference. Ah, I do like Eve. I I want to get back into it. Um, when I when I have more time, I'm just so overwhelmed right now. It's okay. It'll it'll be okay. So. I originally was just going to only cover um, Final Fantasy House this stream, but I, I've, some people, is, oh, okay, um, back it up, I mentioned Justin RPG on the last stream, and that got some people in my Patreon Discord server talking about a rather interesting individual who has apparently become pretty infamous in the Pokemon community, of all things. So yesterday, I decided to spend, you know, half an hour digging into it, and, um... <laughs> so, I'd like to share something with all of you. St. Patrick's Day was a couple of days ago. And as such, let me see, where is it? Let me, let me find it real quick. Th there, there is a particular post made onto uh, social media. Now, I, I will say right off the bat, I am not into Pokemon anymore. I was when I was much younger, but I, I fell out of it and just, you know, was done with it. Let's see. Let me see if I can... Where is this post? Because there is something peculiar about one of these... Yeah, here we go. So, let's look at the official Pokemon account. Together. As a... Like we used to. Like a family. Now, okay, you know what? I'm going to be on the right side. I'm on the right side. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the Pokemon account. Uh, so we have, you know, 2,700 likes and 62 uh, replies. We got um, 451 replies on this one. I feel like that that's a lot because even the even the Pokemon posts that get them, like this is quite a bit. But this is, like this is such an innocuous post. But there are a lot of comments. Let's start scrolling down. Uh, so this post is just, don't forget green today. Right? Uh, this is a character from Pokemon. Like, you know, I, in, um, I, again, I don't know terribly much about Pokemon, but they're like, don't forget about green. So it's, it's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. Pokemon girl. Girls happen. So we scroll down. Um... And we see someone says, green or green, which one? And there's a person named Precious Leaf, who's replied and says, dumb. And then just has this diagram. Leaf, real personality, is all the cheerful, happy, caring, loving, positive. Green is a silly trickster in the games and weird. Green always has three eyelashes facing up in game and anime. It, it goes on like this. You can, you can see a bunch of this. We scroll down. People are there. There's a little bit of confusion. Are green and leaf the same character? Um, my understanding is that they're kind of, they're, they're not quite interchangeable. They're technically different, but they, um, they, they're sort of used similarly, like, y you know how Ash is based on red in, in like, all of the original promotional material? It's kind of like that. 
It's like, yeah, someone in chat called it out before I even say it, said it. It's like Ash and Red. So, um, love her. And then we have, again, Precious Leaf. Posting a, a diagram for us. Curl out. Curls in. So, we, we've gotten through all these comments, right? We, we, have, we have a bunch of comments. And then the comment section takes a turn we can see we have a couple a couple of replies from precious leaf again when i'm not busy i will make all the green freaks lose with a video we will do it in we are going to win green isn't replacing leaf ever everybody prefers leaf everybody prefers leaf get over it I'm winning this thread, Pokemon. This is what you get trying to make this girl replace who is best. It's not happening. Talk about Leaf instead. I want you all to know one thing before you think this is Leaf and like this tweet. It's not Leaf, it's green, so you shouldn't like this. She is trying to replace Leaf in the games and nobody wants this. If you didn't know these differences, you were never a fan of green and don't know Leaf. The funny thing is, I have a friend who goes by the who goes by Leaf, so this is like, what? It's a little bit funny for me. And then we start getting to the weird shit. Uh, you thought this was weird already. Where's Leaf's day thread, huh? Where is it? Are you going to make a tweet about Leaf? You better do it because this is a unfair feeling. And this is Red kissing Leaf. And we have some more no replies. I told my grandpa about green. He said that do to do. Remember or else they will come for you. Do to do. Wait a minute. Is this the same? Account? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm putting that in another tab because I need to take a look at that. Leaf is green. <laughs> so you might be you might get the feeling that people are aware of this person. Now she's not, you noob, learn to be a fan of green and know who Leaf is because you know neither. Uh, and then we keep scrolling. No, there, there are some more, there, there are some more posts just being like, haha, Pokemon. And then we get, we, we, you, you see that Precious Leaf is starting to uh, take over the comment section a little bit more. And... If we keep going, you'll you'll obviously see um, Precious Leaf starting to appear more and more. And after a certain point, it's nothing but Leaf. Nothing. Oh, we got a couple of others. And we're back to Leaf. Just them, like, a whole bunch of renders of Red and Leaf kissing. Oh, we have some other stuff. And we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> it's just nothing but this motherfucker <laughs> posting, <laughs> posting renders of red and leaf on a white background. It just keeps going. Look! Oh, oh, we have some others, and we're back to Leaf. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. What? No. Uh, it just keeps going. And going. And going. Oh, someone wants it localized to Portuguese. And going. Oh, we have, we have Mewtwo and Charizard and Mew in here. And going and more kissing. And that's it. It just, it, it just keeps going. It's nothing but this dude. Okay, it, it's more than that. You have a couple of people interspersed. But just absolutely taken over. So, this is apparently somebody... And again, I have not done a super deep dive into this person, but he, th this person, like, is apparently infamous in the Pokemon community. They are fascinating. 
Now, the first thing, like, th look, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in. But the very first thing I would like all of you to note is that this person has had this account for about two and a half years. 47,000 tweets. 47,000. So I'm trying to think, two and a half years, that's not even a thousand days. That's more than 47 tweets per day. And then we, we all, he also has an alt, Leaf Wednesday, since October 2020. Only 1,169. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> This person apparently regularly harasses like Pokemon social media. Just constantly posting. Yeah. The, oh my God. Farah is completely right. This is like dark Ben Hughes. Because Ben Hughes is like a Chad. Just living, absolutely living his best life. Precious Leaf is like a dark story, Ben Hughes. The alt is for the times when he gets temp banned. Understood. Their profile description reads, I love Leaf for 17 years. We do everything together. Don't assume anything, please. We are not sexual together, not. So don't listen. I'm fine. Please send Leafs. It's, see, that's the thing. Th this is absolutely evil Ben Hughes. Even the not sexual thing is there. No sexy. No sexy. <laughs> have we discovered a new kind of guy? We might have. <laughs> what if this is Ben's alt? Do you think that this person has time to be Precious Leaf and Ben Hughes? Do you know how much content Ben Hughes puts out? There's just no time. New guy just dropped. Now, there, there are a couple of th there are a couple of standout tweets that I wanted to share with all of you. Now, you might have noticed that Precious Leaf got very angry. Very, like, there's just lots of posting of Leaf and Red. They see themselves, and one thing that becomes obvious as we scroll down is, uh, Leaf sees himself as Red. Like, he says, I am the Red in real life. And in fact, uh, I, I think I bookmarked a couple of tweets that show this. Um, let me see. Right, he also attacks uh, the Pokemon Masters EX Twitter. They just say, Daily region rotation is live. Take on daily battles to earn five Kanto stout scout tickets, battle points, and more as competition rewards. You can exchange battle, yada, 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 yada. Um, and then just get, guess who's in this image. It's Leaf. And guess who shows up? Dena, it's important. It's important you know how much you done for me. The feeling in the heart. It's all the knowing and that I am the best in the world at it and also helped find the cells. So I'm a good trainer. Need two Leafs alts this year. It's important. <laughs> they're trying. They're, they're trying. Dena is the developer. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. I would not have, like, see, this is how outside of the loop I am. I, I discovered a new guy. Dana, I don't give up. You know yourself. I love Leaf more than anyone could love someone in the world. Combined of everyone, that is the most ever. I have the biggest heart and knowing for what's important. It's important, Dena, for the feeling of no need more leaf alts. Most people want leaf alts. This is leaf's game, never greens. All the leaf alts, right, Dena, for leaf people want more leaf alt where there is no greens in game ever. 
This is goth. <laughs> this is gothic. So, so, something that's very important to this person that I've been able to divine is... Leave... So, here, okay, so here's the thing. Someone's saying word salad. This is not word salad. Um, word salad is very different. It... it it's it's where you get different ideas that are strung together that don't appear to have any sort of um any sort of connection to one another this is just a person who has a lot of trouble like expressing their thoughts <laughs> it's not word salad it's word diarrhea see it's like it's all related to one another and and this person con continuously relates the same ideas over and over <laughs> See, the difference between this guy and, and Ben Hughes is Ben Hughes is having a great time. Precious Leaf is just having a terrible time all the time, which I feel like defines a lot of Pokemon fans in the first place. Like, how many how many Pokemon fans are actually consistently having a good a, a good time? Like, how many Pokemon fans are happy? <laughs> Like, like a new game comes out and they're like, like, I, I'm mad that this thing wasn't in it. Or like, oh, this game was fun, but man, I wish that it had this and this and this. It's like, it, it's never enough. Now, Nintendo has a notorious history of pretty bad business practices, I would say. Like, anti-consumer practices is what I should say. But, you know, if I were Nintendo, and I had fans like the average Nintendo fam, I probably would hold my- <laughs> I probably would hold my consumers in a certain amount of contempt, too. So I'm not sure I can blame them. <laughs> uh, Nintendo fans are notoriously, like impossible to please <laughs> no nintendo fans are notoriously bad notoriously toxic gamers already tend to be a pretty toxic um a, a pretty toxic group but poke like nintendo fans are particularly bad a lot of the time Oh, Frankie uh, DF Kuhn. I, at this point, I wonder if it's a, if it's a cycle, like the fans are shit, and then Nintendo is shit because they hate the fans, and then the fans are shit because Nintendo is mean to them, and then Nintendo is mean to them because the fans are being shit, and then it just keeps going around and around and around. <laughs> Demi's smile face has been subbed for two months now, and they say it is time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you play Animal Crossing? Yeah, I, I play Nintendo games. What of it? What? I, I, Nintendo games are fun. A lot of them are. You can like games, but like not be shit, right? Like, is that possible? <laughs> it, is, it is impossible to be a gamer and not be a piece of shit. No. <laughs> If you play Nintendo games, you are officially the worst. <laughs> so, Precious Leaf just keeps go. Okay, so that look, it, it just it's the same images over and over again. Now. One thing I wanted to point out that I thought was really funny, this person was getting really pissed off about uh, the Pokemon Twitter for posting about, um, for posting about green. And let me see if I can find, here we go. So, the, so Precious Leaf is, is very angry. He is very angry about them talking about green when they actually should be talking about leaf, like, because she's the more important one. I suspect that there's a certain sense of, um, you know, I, I will fight for you so you will be represented, my precious leaf. 
Um, I, I suspect that, like, it's performative for a, a fictitious character. So Precious Leaf says, I'm fucking screaming. Why would Pokemon do this? There is no reason to. What about the Leaf merch, the plush, the figure, the cards? Why green today? Why not Leaf Wednesday? Where is Leaf Stay? Leaf Tweet only masters treated her well with what people wanted. This feeling sucks in heart. Then someone explains, because it's St. Patrick's Day, big celebration in Ireland, and the color green is at the forefront. Therefore, Pokemon makes a post containing uh, the character called Green. And then, finally, Precious Leaf turns off the caps lock button and says, Oh, that makes it more comfortable, I guess, since not as random, thank goodness, was in panic mode for a bit then. This person had been posting in all caps locks just about how angry they were about, <laughs> about Pokemon posting about green. And someone says, oh, it's probably because it's St. Patrick's Day. And they go, oh, okay. all it took <laughs> it's all it took this person was losing their head for like a whole day just constant posting like if if you look hold on um i i actually looked at the tweets and replies it just hold on wait wait a minute yeah so this person just Okay, so people are just talking with them, but if we go back, like, look how much this person posts. I'm trying to get back to before they were told that it was for St. Patrick's Day. Also, this person, like, gets into Twitter arguments regularly. No stupid green tweet is going to make me forget what's most important. Okay, so yeah, we're back to the point where they didn't realize why, um, why Pokemon made the, the tweet about green. Uh, no stupid green tweet is going to make me forget what's most important. You don't even need to remind ever since the beginning. Always know what's important. I'm the one who wins. There will be more leaf everywhere for merching games they will see. And someone replies, It feels like your hatred of green is stronger than your love for leaf. Do you love leaf more than you hate green? You used to call green perfect. What made you change your mind? And Precious Leaf says, don't speak for me. I love Leaf more than anything possible. One more smart ass remark from you and you're blocked. You have nothing kind to say to me so far. <laughs> and then I think this is one of my favorite interactions. Look how scary this picture is of green. This is almost like a master's model of proportions. Girl, do you know how bad this feeling would be if they continue this crap and give her all the attention? What the fuck? I have to beat all the green freaks at everything, even the official ones. Someone replies... Green is so cute. And Precious Leaf says... No. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> just the... No. <laughs> Undercase. <laughs> no. Mid... <laughs> Based? So, so here, here we go. This is the person explaining why. And they're just seething, absolutely seething that Pokemon made a post about green. So they're just posting the same pictures. Look, it just... It just keeps going. There's so many renders of this. There are so many. Some of them are repeated, but a lot of them are, like, I'm sure they reuse the same pictures over and over. But this person is, like, actively harassing people. They just keep going. Look, that, look, all of this. I, I want to point out something. Let's go find the beginning of March 17th. Right, Let, let's find March 18th and then work backwards. Like, wh where's the first post on March 18th? Here we go. So, March 18th. Do you guys want to see what they did after Pokemon posted just a gif of their character green? Let's go on a little journey. 
Hold on, we need music for this. We need... Oh, if I do the Benny Hill theme, then it's... Then it's going to get copyright claimed. Um, froggy song? Yeah, maybe. Hall of the Mountain King? That also will get copyright claimed. Because all classical music gets copyright claimed. Uh, here we go. You ready to begin? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Froggy Song at 1.5 times speed. Still March 17th. 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 This is all one day of posting. Still the same day. They're still going. We're still going. We need to restart Froggy Song. I'm getting dizzy. Like scrolling through these. We're still at March 17th. We need, hold on, we need another song. Like, we literally need another song. The <laughs> song fucking ended. Lobby Chutter? Oh my god. Oh, you're right. That would be perfect. Uh, and we are going to do that at faster speed. Uh, here we go. Yep, perfect. I love restaurant. I love <laughs> I Just, we're still going. It's still, it's still March 17. Together forever. Together forever. Together forever. Restaurant and Justin. Together forever. Together forever. Together forever. I love Restaurant so much. Love. It, love, it doesn't matter. If one is up a time. 
and the other is human. As long as you love each other, love each other, love each other. Oh, we found the other. other. Love each other. Love oh, each but other. you know what? Love you know what? The post was made on March 16th. Or wait, was it? It was... Hold on. Because wasn't the post made on March 16th? Where was it? It was... March 17th. Okay. We did it. We we <laughs> we found the end. Oh, well. I did, <laughs> how many people arrived during this and have no idea what's going on? <laughs> it just keeps I like I cannot believe how much that person posted in a single day. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. You guys we're not done. Because guess what? We also have the Leaf Wednesday account. Love each other. Love each other. Love each other. Love each other. Sing with me Russian Ram. Love, 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 love. <laughs> It's his alt account! <laughs> We're not done, motherfuckers! Oh, we got to the end. Okay, that was it. It's <laughs> nearly as much. <laughs> oh my god the reason that he needed to make an alt account or he needed to use the alt account was because he reached the the limit of the number of replies you're allowed to make on a single um on a single post do you know what's the worst scenario that he set up a bot for this or that he manually does these i'm pretty sure it's manual I had no idea that there was an upper limit to the number of replies you can make on a post, but I guess Precious Leaf found it. He does this often enough to have thousands of posts. Yep. Yeah. Um, on I, I don't know about the Leaf Wednesday account because this one I think only yeah one thousand one hundred sixty nine. Nice. Uh, fake pictures. God, yeah, they just use this to reply. His hair is not darker. It's like that in the remakes after Frol Frolg. What game is that? Was always there, just not in Frolg, but after. What if this is an AI trained on Ben Hughes? No, 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 no. Don't, don't you slander my boy Ben Hughes like this. Ben Hughes, whenever Ben Hughes posts an image... It's always, like, unique. It's new. He, that, that man only produces fresh content. This person is just posting the same images over and over. <laughs> Again, dark story Ben Hughes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyways, uh, th this person actively, like, it is harassing people on, like, Twitter. <laughs> people post on the thread and they he just swoops in. Ben doesn't produce most of his art. Oh, my sweet summer child. Hold on. Hold on. Um, if I just search Ben Hughes Simpsons, and I should be a here. We go. No, no, you don't. Don't you slander my boy Ben Hughes like that. 
Ben Hughes. Ben Hughes posts his own collage work. Yeah, the Simpsons females stare in awe at the Sopranos' road to respect for the PlayStation 2. The Simpsons females stared in amazement and awe at a unicorn. The Simpsons females stared in amazement at Atlantean mammoths. Ruth Powers, Laura Powers, Homer Simpson, Marge Simpson, Lisa Simpson, and Bart Simpson laughed at Pumbaa sits on the remote and changes to the trailer of the Simpsons movie and the director says, hey, that's funny. I mean, we need to watch it now. This summer, between honor and dishonor, between family and enemies, between July and August, a line will be drawn and then colored in yellow. Run! Run! Jump! Jump! Rest! Rest! <laughs> I know we've had a rough day. I'm sure we can put all that behind us. On July 27th, a secret will be revealed. Hey, what's going on? The four states, the border's bringing us around. Mean it. Oh, yeah. And Hey, that's funny. Oh my god. I <laughs> Do you think he has these bookmarked? Oh, are you you know I'm Tradion? You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say that Ben Hughes actually doesn't have these bookmarked. I'm going to say that Ben Hughes knows each of the URLs by heart and he types them in manually because Ben Hughes is that much of a Chad. We stand Ben Hughes in this stream and, and precious leaf is, is like what could have happened if Ben Hughes went down the wrong path. Like if he had played Pokemon instead of watching the Simpsons growing up. <laughs> Dark Ben. Yeah. So, um, this was supposed to be a Final Fantasy house straight. You guys, I, I want to say thank you all so much for just being on board for these weird diversions. How do I find this stuff? This was literally just people talking about it in my Patreon server, and I was like, what is this? So I decided to look a bit deeper, and I lost my mind. <laughs> That's, I, you, you want to know the secret? I always just, somebody mentions something, and then I'm like, huh. So I start looking into it myself and just take that extra few minutes. That's literally all it is. That's how I find this stuff. Though I am at the point where this stuff seems to find me at this point. And look, I, I know that... I know we were supposed to do Final Fantasy House. And we will. But I just th thank you all for being on board for my weird shit. We totally missed a couple of subs. And if you all are st still here, I'm so sorry that I just got so hyper-focused. Isaac Zero Lance has been subbed for two months. Thank you so much. Chris Laforte L has been subbed for three months and says St. Patrick's Day saved the day. Yeah. <laughs> and Silvac just subbed a fresh sub, everyone. And oh! The Crazy Ace King has just subbed now. Thank you so much, all of you and everyone. Could we give all of them some precious bonus beans? It looks like 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 Another fresh sub. Thank you so much. And hey, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. I I cannot believe. Okay, so th this is incredible. I feel like 
all of the little rabbit holes I go down are related to things that I just have, have very little interest in. Like, the Final Fantasy house. Never played Final Fantasy VII. Any of them. Like, not the remake, not the original, none. Um, I, I did grow up with Pokemon, but I jumped off the horse after Gen 3. So, I, I just have not been plugged in since then. Um... Like, and I, I mean, I like The Simpsons. I like The Simpsons as much as the next guy. Maybe not as much as Ryan. You guys would be amazed how much uh, my composer Ryan loves The Simpsons. Which is so funny because he, he's, he's from the UK. But he just loves The Simpsons. Cody One has been subbed for two months now. And they say, you must live in Warrens at this point. Yeah. I... I'll put it this way, I don't have any normal interests anymore. <laughs> it's like it's like work and then Eve online. Actually, um there I kind of want to get into like my brother and I have been talking about getting into competitive total war and just digging into that a little bit. Oh, Simpsons uh is big in the UK. Oh, I didn't realize how big it was in the UK. Gotcha. Is Eve online good? It's fantastic. If, if it's your kind of game. It's, if it's not your kind of game, then you probably will struggle. But there is a lot. There are a lot of different things you can do in EVE Online. Why competitive? Because my brother and I work really well together. And Total War is just a good way to hang out. Like It's something we both really love. Not Warhammer specifically, just total... I do have a... Is chess really a normal interest? Like, I, I, it's a conventional interest, maybe, but is it normal? Try hard hangouts, yeah. Although my brother has been coming over and, um, and, and playing Outer Wilds, so that's the big thing we've been doing when we hang out. How's my brother doing? Um, he hasn't been streaming, like, he hasn't streamed so much anymore, but he's doing well. <laughs> you was doing pee pee in your pampers. Oh god, we are 15 minutes late for a break. Um, how, hold on a second. How many people in chat know the pee pee in your pampers story, the ch the chess drama, the pee pee in your pampers chess drama? Because I feel like I I shared that on my stream pretty early. Give him our best, Mrs. Streams. All, oh, I'll I'll let him know. There are a lot of people. Okay, you know what? Here's. I'm going to look this up for everyone. Mm. So. This is. This is a very. Uh, th this needs context. So obviously COVID hit a lot of uh, public events really hard. And one of those. Uh realms that was hit was chess because uh large chess tournaments are typically done over the board um like you know the, the biggest ones the more important ones are done over the board rather than online but covid really changed things and chess started uh being played online more so that you know these large tournaments still wanted to put on an event but they couldn't um, host it at a venue or they or they weren't confident doing so. And actually, there there have been problems with uh, chess players uh, catching COVID at events. So, obviously, play, like when you're all alone in your room and the only sort of anti-cheating device is a webcam on your face, some like it is easier to cheat. Uh, because cheating in chess is pretty rampant. Uh, cheating in chess usually takes the form of um, somehow using a um, a computer to uh, a, a chess program to find the best moves. Wait, weird sound glitch. Uh, are we are we okay? Um. Now, a player named Tigran Petrosian who is from, um, where was it? Um, I'm, I'm forgetting. Uh, Armenia. Yeah, he, um, a chess player from Armenia uh, was being pretty sus. Uh, we, we need some sussy owls in chat. Uh, could, could we get some T-owl susses? 
he was so typically when a grandmaster is playing he's his eyes are just glued on the screen like looking at the position and analyzing but tigran petrosian was very frequently looking down which is odd um the only reason that you would really do that is if you had a like some sort of screen down there a computer with a chess program on it yeah he's got stockfish open on his phone and uh, which is a, a chess program or some chess program and he's running the moves through people started getting suspicious and so wesley so another grandmaster said uh petrosian played better than magnus carlson yesterday i need to have some of that secret gin also i wonder what happened to the eagles the, the armenia eagles is the name of the chess team i wonder what happened to the eagles top scorers on andreasen and uh shant sarg sargis uh Sarg sargsian yeah why they don't play on chess.com anymore so he what Wesley So is referring to other Armenian players um on the team who have been banned for cheating on chess.com events. So basically Wesley So is accusing is slyly accusing um uh Tigran Petrosian of cheating. Petrosian did not take to this kindly and wrote this response are you kidding? What the asterisk, 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 asterisk are you talking about, man? You are a biggest loser I ever seen in my life. You was doing pee-pee in your pampers when I was beating players much more stronger than you. You are not professional because professionals knew how to lose and congratulate opponents. You are like a girl crying after I beat you. Be brave, be honest to yourself, and stop this trash talkings. Everybody know that I am very good blitz player. I can win anyone in the world in single game. And Wesley So is nobody for me. Just a player who are crying every single time when losing. Remember what you say about Faruja. Stop playing with my name. I deserve to have a good name during whole my chess career. Chess carrier. I deserve to have a good name during whole my chess carrier. I am officially inviting you to over the board blitz match with the prize fund. Both of us will invest $5,000 and winner takes it all. I suggest all other people who's interested in this situation just take a look at my results in 2016 and 2017 Blitz World Championships, and that should be enough. No need to listen for every crying babe. Tigran Petrosian is always play fair. And if someone will continue officially talk about me like that, we will meet in court. God bless with true. True will never die. Liers will kicked off. Tigran Petrosian was subsequently banned for cheating after some extensive analysis. <laughs> <laughs> oh it was a, it was a reddit moment it was a yeah it was a missile on ramp missile on ramp <laughs> the, i can't believe that tigran petrosian really said missile on ramp <laughs> missile on ramp Oh, I, <laughs> I, look, look, sometimes, like, when someone is learning a language or when English isn't their first language, it's, look, people fucking up language is legitimately, like, it, it is one of the most universally amusing things. I am, I am learning German, and... Whenever I fuck fuck up German with German speakers, they'll like get a good laugh. I mean, pe people were laughing at some of my pronunciations in the Austrian wine poisoning video uh, because it's funny. Like fucking up other languages when you are fluent in the language is just funny. 
<laughs> but the problem is, like, if you are going to get this angry and try to, like, write in a language with which you are not terribly familiar, this is what you get. Say something in German, I want to laugh at you? No. Sprich <laughs> Deutsch, do. <laughs> okay, that, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. That was the softest no. No. Oh, oh, oh my god, um, Denizium. Uh, it's funny you bring up English as she has spoke because a million years ago, before I had Lauren, um, I did a reading on stream of English as she has spoke. That, would you guys, I, I know that most people here weren't around when I was streaming all that time ago. Um, would you guys like to read English as she has spoke? How do you, how, how do you all feel? Some people might have been around, but I, I can't imagine it was that many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English as she has spoke is one of the funniest, like, examples of bad language ever. Yeah, I did that with Mike. Oh, yeah. That might have been... Wait, say, aber ja natürlich Hans ist nass, er steht unter dem Wasserfall. I know that my, um, my, my accent is not very good, it's very American. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Lord Butt Sauce. Look, if- Ich scheiße gern in meine Hosen! <laughs> oh nein! <laughs> Mein Gott, this is ein Kay voller Blindsmoken. <laughs> ich fühle dem Pisse Wasser. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, look, the only way that you can say those phrases is it is like it is in the in, in the tiny German voice, like Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Wie cool ist das bitte? I talk a Fortnite and drink cola! Yippee! <laughs> oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to put that on stream real quick. Uh, because I think that there are some people, um, Mina Mama Hot... Uh, you know, if I just put on, put in Mina Mama Hot Mia, it'll probably show it. Uh... <laughs> Here we go. I got it. Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Wie cool ist das bitte? Jetzt sag ich Fortnite und trink Cola. Yippie! <laughs> I love it. So, what he's saying is, Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Uh, Do um, what what that means is my mom just suddenly allowed um like suddenly allowed me to uh drink cola like obviously this parent doesn't let their kid drink a lot of soda so it's like my mom just suddenly allowed me to like dr drink cola wie cool ist das bitte how cool is that though and then ich talk a fortnite und drink cola <laughs> like, i'm playing fortnite and drinking cola <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so cute. Ah, uh, I love it. That, that this is what too much cola does to you. No, it isn't because clearly, like, look, the the kid clearly has not drank any of the cola yet. There's, do you see cola there? I don't. I I don't see any drank cola. God, I I love this. Zocken is extreme. Oh, it's extreme gamer lingo. Okay, gotcha. Um, I, I just knew it was like use or utilize or something to that effect. Oh, that, that kid. Oh, to be a little German boy whose mom just allowed him to drink cola while playing Fortnite. <laughs> I will never be that happy in my life. Because it is literally impossible to be that happy. 
The closest I can get to is reading Tigran Petrosian writing pee pee in your pampers. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So we are half an hour overdue for <laughs> for a, for a sippy break. Everyone, I encourage you to stand up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a sippy. And I'll see you all in about five minutes. I myself am going to make some more sencha. I'm looking forward to this. This needs the text. Got it.
Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> Hi everyone. What did everyone get to sip? I personally am drinking more of this Sencha, although I think that Sencha might be a bad idea for stream because I only get to steep it every hour or so, and it kind of oxidizes between steeps. You, you really gotta prepare Sencha in, in quick successions. Always chai, gotcha. <laughs> By the way, shout out to my mods. Thank you. I, I, I know the chat is generally pretty well behaved, but... But I still appreciate all the work that you guys do, keeping an eye on things, and in the Patreon Discord, too. Just huge thank you. Paprika water. Huh. Coffee. Does anyone want coffee? Decaf Earl Grey. Gen Mai Cha. I, I maintain Gen Mai Cha is a great tea for when you don't know what kind of tea you want, but you want tea. Thought Fred was about to say shout out to my mom. I could. My mom showed up in, in Twitch chat a little while ago. And we had, um, <laughs> we called out my mom. She's the best. Drinking American juice. What, Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew. It's got to be the official drink of America with how much I see, like, people wearing American flags drinking it. <laughs> Mint chocolate coffee. Doritos. Ugh, ugh. Man, I, I I want you all I want you all to think about how thinking of boogie makes you feel. Right? Like that there are a lot of feelings associated with boogie. And then remember the glee with watching a, a, a clearly, like, staged event, but a person, you know, of Francis making Doritos. Think about, like, that joy juxtaposed with the feelings you get thinking about Boogie 2988. Just, damn. Don't let anything on the internet hang out for too long. Hmm. What's that say about me? <laughs> I gotta be careful. I feel like there are some people who have been or like been around for a long time on the internet who are who are fine right been like around and doing things what the brothers chaps um who do you think you know what Let, let's think of some wholesome creators that have been around for a long time yogg's cast yeah yogg's cast had some had some bumpy moments but yeah they're good hank green yeah vinnie vine sauce yeah. All right. Linkara. <laughs> Germa. Ahoy. Yeah. Limes. Yeah, of course. Simple flips. <laughs> Cat Icarus. Yeah. Cat Icarus has just been a good, wholesome presence the whole time. And Mike. Yeah. Mike's been around longer than me. On the internet. Shout out to Simple Flips. I feel like PewDiePie had his <clears throat> gamer moment. Hey, Vsauce Michael here. Yeah, that's true. James Rolf recently had some bumpy stuff. Man, I. I watched Emily's video about, like, the Cinemassacre quote-unquote controversy. It's just, like, nothing. It's a huge nothing burger. Um, but watching that did expose me to one of the most unfunny videos that I've ever seen that is so unfunny that it circled around to being funny. And I know that, like, a significant number of you know exactly what happened. What happened with James Rolfe? James Rolfe? Nothing. The dude just really doesn't have his heart in it anymore, and it's obvious. And he does a lot of stuff with um, the Screenwave crew. I actually, for a short time, was uh, partnered with them on YouTube. I'm not partnered with anyone anymore, because MCNs are completely unnecessary. Uh, 
Uh, and yeah, people know exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I feel like I am, con like, I, there is no contract, but I feel like I am obligated to show this to all of you. Um, literally the most unfunny, like, one of the most unfunny things I've ever seen that loops around to being funny. Let me, let's see, Scoot Lauren. Lauren Scoot. Scoot. This is uh, Minecraft with Gadget by Mike Matei. I don't know what the block does, do you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey everybody, I'm here with my good friend Inspector Gadget. Uh, how you doing, Inspector Gadget? I'm having a lot of fun. So you want to do some reviews, Inspector Gadget? I'm better than you are, so I should do the review. <laughs> okay, all right, well, Inspector Gadget's gonna do the review. You can shut up now. I'm always on duty. Hmm, do you have that game? Uh, Mindy audio Kraka? Jungle. Penny was telling me she was playing it on her computer book. Let's play Minecraft. Um, uh, well, I have... Minecraft? That, I think that's probably what you're talking about. Uh, let's just try that. You're right. He is the first VTuber. I owe so much to Inspector Gadget. Hmm. Oh, yes. This is it. Minecraft. No, 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 Inspector Gadget. It's called Minecraft. Why is he calling it oh, Minecraft? Minecraft. I cannot wait to play Minecraft. Do you know what my favorite thing to do is in Minecraft? I love building bricks with Minecraft. Building bricks with Minecraft is the best thing and the most amount of fun you can have while playing an app. I understand why all the kids are playing this game these days. It's because they like to build brown bricks with Minecraft. I also like to build brown bricks with Minecraft. It's the most fun you can pour. This is 100% an intentionally unfunny shit post says I am Mr. Man. How sure of that are you? Possibly have. What is the point of Minecraft? Well, there really is no point. It's a sandbox game. Oh, good. I love building sandcastles. No, that just means you can do anything you want, like explore, build stuff, and mess around. What kind of stuff can you build? Well, anything, really. Like, there's one guy that built a uh, scale model of the Starship Enterprise. My deduction skills as a detective tell me he has quite possibly never had sex. Come on, Inspector. Ah, uh -huh, funny, funny joke, gamers don't But have he sex. is just copying a fake rocket ship blueprint designed by someone else. Seems more like monkey see, monkey do than using creative energy, if you ask me. Oh, you think you can do better, huh? I have a robotic implant in my brain that lets me perform 12 quadrillion calculations per second. I could rewrite the entire game's code while helping Penny with her homework and cleaning up Brain's duty all at the same time. He's a nerd, and I hate nerds more than I hate mad agents. What an asshole. He might not have a powerful cybernetic brain like yours, but I think that the kid used Minecraft in a unique and complex yet beautiful way, making an adaptation of... I told you to shut up, but you didn't listen. Oh look, a free iPad. Oh my god, that like fraction of a second cut is so bad. Shut up, but you didn't listen. Oh look. Why does that show up for like half a second? F funny die, yeah, f funny die. <laughs> look, a free iPad. Look, a free iPad. Yeah, hey Graffy. Graphy and chat, graphy and chat. Yeah, that that's that's it's it's one of those things where you quote and you laugh, but you're not sure why you're laughing. Like it's not even funny watching it, just it is oh graphy? Gra graphy is good boy. May I out you graphy? No graphs in chat. Graphy is is a friend. You may out yourself if you wish. <laughs> 
shows up, shit talks Minecraft, nerds, kills you, leaves. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me. That's completely normal behavior. I, I don't know what the point of that video was. It just... It, it just kind of exists. Why was the inspect? I don't know why Inspector Gadget was there. I don't know why it was Inspector Gadget. It's like they just had a leftover asset or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I have no answers for you. It makes more sense the less you think about it. Yeah, that, that's accurate. Red line. God, that movie was good. Hey, guys, weren't we supposed to be reading the Final Fantasy house? That, let me pull it up. So, uh, <laughs> we're well over halfway into the stream, and we still haven't looked at the Final Fantasy house. So, uh, let, let's actually do something with our time. They watched a gadget game or DVD they reviewed with James with a shitty gadget impression. This is based off that. Oh. So, it, like, e even if you know the context, it's not great. Right? Were we supposed to? We did take a break. It was just half an hour late. <laughs> okay. I'm pulling it up. Uh, we have, let's see, the original entry. We have Candy Wrappers Letter. We're going to have to do like another three streams with this or something to actually do it. So the, the webmaster of the site emailed uh, Mela, uh, who lived with them for a little while. We might, I, I think this might be the thing that we read today for, <laughs> for stream. Don't worry, Coffee Kindred. You're late to the stream, but we haven't even started on the topic yet. We're only starting now. Look, I if people are having a good time looking at strange, random things that I have just tucked away in my back pocket, I'm I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> hmm. Sippy. Mela's story. The following is a series of emails I exchanged with Mela, who lived with them for some time. She eventually kicked them out of her house, but her story blows mine out of the water. So Mela was um, a homeowner who allowed uh, Jen and Hojo to stay in her house for a while. Hi, I'm that chick from California that shows up from time to time on your site, and I figured we should talk a bit as I'm pretty fed up with Jen myself and kicked her out of my house a couple of months ago. Uh, I met Jen at boarding school in Utah. We got along pretty good because Jen was known as... Oh, Coffee Kindred also gave 100 bits and I just totally skipped over it. My problem is I like have a thought and I want to say something and finish the thought and then go back and, and mention it and not interrupt the, the, the flow, but then I just get so hyper-focused. No, Loner Archon, I just showed that I'm completely irresponsible with people, like, subbing and with bits. Why are you giving bits? <laughs> you fool. Thank you, Loner Archon. Oh my god, so wait a minute, you guys. So... People who sub go into the bonus bean room. But if bits are kind of like our cryptocurrency, what if... What if we have, like, a a sub sound for, um, or, like, a, a bit, a, a bit sound effect for, like, going into the de-stress room? So we have the de-stress room where you jump into a big pile of coins. Bean NFTs. I still need a sub badge. I'm filling out all of the emote slots, but I still don't have a sub badge. Or what? Yeah. <laughs> here's how the crypto... Yeah, yeah, here's how the bit cryptocurrency works. You give me bits. That's the process. <laughs> <laughs> NFT. 
an old legend. Ah, oh. thank you, Floydian Sound. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy. Oh God, Hover Squid with 200 bits saying, "Here's some Lauren coin." <laughs> Make a tip jar and have... I... There's a part of me that kind of misses having a little tip jar. But at the same time, screen real estate is so important. And I like the simple setup. I feel like having any more on the setup would kind of clutter things. I'd rather just focus on a, on whatever we're looking at. You know what I mean? Plico Plico says, have some Bitcoin. Ha 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 ha. That's a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Goodness. It's very, it's very, it's very kind. Oh, God. We, yeah, we need the bit connect. It's not like we need the bit connect in the soundboard. You know what? Just writing it down real quick. I love bit connect. <laughs> My wife doesn't believe in me. <laughs> I okay. We're going to need um, hey, like, what's up, what's up, big connect. Like when people give bits, but then we also are going to have to have. My wife doesn't believe in me. <laughs> and then <laughs> get into crypto. To, yeah, it's it, it's the get into crypto to wife divorcing you combo. It's the new taunt to get bodied. Crazy Ace King with 500 bits. Thank you so much. I'm trying to draw Lauren. Are his arms wings or talons? It's whatever you want it to be. I have some um, art that's going to be... Yeah, the little little insider tip. I have some art that's going to be used on this on the stream that has him with like fluffy talons but if you look at the emotes the wings are all the big wingies are also canon literally nobody cares that that's the answer <laughs> if he if he needs to do little things i i like to imagine that he can have either depending on what he needs wrong answer <laughs> Lauren is whatever you want. Like, I, I have I have some really good news for you. Lauren isn't real. You can do whatever you want. Like, you he can he can he can have shrimps for arms. If you really want that. He is he he could have three spines. He's not real. You you can do whatever you want. Finger wingers, like um, like Lugia, yeah, like Lugia or uh the uh bird people, the um, the Rito. That was my thought. Yeah, Lauren isn't real. He can't hurt you, Lauren. Get over here. <laughs> So, we're reading, we are ostensibly reading a thing. You know what? We, we spent so much time on, um, on just random stuff. We'll go, we'll go half an hour over because our first, our first break was half an hour over. So we'll, we'll read for about 35 minutes, take a break, go for another hour after that. That's how we'll do this. Uh, I met Jen at boarding school in Utah. We got along pretty good because Jem was known as that crazy girl who thinks she's a vampire and I was that crazy girl who thinks she's a space alien. I wanted to meet up with her after the program and I kept looking around on the internet until I came across this list of information on Jem that started with, you don't look like Integra, Integra's Asian. <laughs> That's the unrealistic part to you. There's no way you could have been Integra because you're not Asian. <laughs> you're what? I'm biracial. You're what? God, that, that bit is too good. 
There was a whole lot of stuff about Jen, and from what I saw, I could identify this as being the Jen I knew from Utah. So I contacted the person who wrote that description, and she directed me to Renee, and from Renee to Jen. Jen said she had been looking everywhere for me, which I found highly unlikely, as I was online at classmates.com and all she would have to have to have had to do was pay like 15 bucks and subscribe and Jen would have unlimited access to my contact info. I should have known about their financial state when I found out that at no time over the course of two years did Jen have enough money to subscribe to this service. I guess she didn't really care that much about finding me, although when we talked she made a big deal about how she had looked for me. I came out to visit for two weeks after a short vacation with my parents as it meant that my airfare was much cheaper that way. Things were very peachy for that time period except for a couple of bad signs I wish I would have noticed. You know, I actually had a moment where I was desperately looking for a friend because like he had just disappeared and I hadn't heard from him him in a while like it, it, it's that situation of like friend hasn't been on steam for months right so i actually like started digging like frantically took me a couple of hours but i did end up uh finding him and he's okay i i it was kind of a panic moment so now like i i, I guess like saying oh we looked all over for you bitch i've been in that position don't don't you fucking do that shit Things went very peachy for that time period, except for a couple of bad signs I wish I noticed. Angel was extremely jealous of me and constantly paranoid that I would take Jen away from her. This is not an irrational fear, as Angel did take Jen away from Renee. I wasn't sexually interested in Jen, Angel, or Renee. All of them were much heavier than I was attracted to. Jen was constantly bragging about how they were all losing weight. I saw no noticeable weight loss the whole time I knew them, but Jen was constantly pestering me to tell her about how skinny she was. At 200 pounds, no one is skinny. Or, okay, like, th th there are people I have met who are, like, very buff. Like, it, it is very easy to get that heavy from muscle mass. But I don't know if you call that... I mean, like, you can still look skinny and be 200 pounds. Anyways. Or how good she was at DDR, or how she was working out all the time. Jen managed to weasel over $2,000... Weasel... Wait. Weasel $2,000 out of me over the course of the two weeks I stayed. I didn't realize how much it was adding up until I got the credit card bill next month. Man, none of these people are good with the money. All her spending seemed completely rational. I noticed something while I stayed there, that Jen didn't own a single pair of scissors, or a microwave, or a toaster, or any of those other normal things, but she did have a horribly expensive doll and crystal collection, along with lots of expensive jewelry. So I'm going to give you all a tip. If you take your J.O. crystal, fully charged, and uh, drop it into your, like, a gallon of milk, a carton of milk, a half gallon is, is even better, um, it'll stay good, like, at room temperature for months. But again, you got to have a J.O. crystal, and it's got to be charged, and you got to just plunk it on in there. Uh, be careful not to eat it, because um, otherwise you will be cursed to live eternally. Uh, the the only way the only way to die after that point is um, is semen retention. Like you have to starve your Jo crystal. What if you drop your Jo crystal in a tub of jelly juice? Oh my god, jelly juice! I forgot about jelly juice. Waterfalls. Oh god. Something is wrong with that person, and she is doing so much harm. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> uh, do to do along lots of expensive jewelry. Jen just had no idea how to spend money on things she needed and spent it on things she wanted. She called them sparklies or shinies. There's some early internet for you. She also spent more money on food than any three people I know. She had to buy new groceries every day, fresh vegetables and fruit, meat, etc. I was talking with a friend about this. He, um, he lives in walking distance of his grocery store, and so just as part of his daily routine, he'll walk down and just pick up food for, like, pick up groceries to, like, so his groceries are always fresh when he makes food. 
Again, he lives like right next to the grocery store. Uh, the blood in frozen meat was somehow tainted. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, she had to buy new groceries every day, fresh vegetables and fruit, meat, etc. The blood in frozen meat was somehow tainted, and meals always revolved around what Jen wanted to eat. There was no planning ahead. Jen would cook whatever she pleased and start thinking about her meal around 10 p.m. Okay, honestly though, mood. I get so wrapped up in whatever I'm doing that I just forget about food until I get hungry and then I'm like too hungry to think about food. Cooking would begin... <laughs> it's, it's a bad habit. Cooking would begin near midnight and dinner was served in the wee hours. This appealed to me at the time because I'm not a morning person and everyone else I'd know... I'd known ate on a day schedule. It would get old. When my parents went crazy and stopped paying for school, I was ripe for the picking. Jen talked to me frantically about all the bad things that were going on and somehow managed to make it sound much worse. Her solution, I and my money, should come live with her. I was frantic to get, to get away from my parents, scared, and wanted desperately to live in a place where I was accepted. That place, definitely, was not with Jen, but I didn't know that then. So I packed all of my belongings into my little red car and drove 4,000 miles cross-country to live in Pennsylvania. Oh, Google uh, double plus good, du double plus ungood think wise says Google jilly juice to remember what it was and forgot that it was supposed to cure the gay. Yeah, I forgot about that too. That is remarkable, isn't it? Also, I think I missed a couple of a, a couple of chats. Snorkstalker, all oh, chats. Uh, I missed a couple of subs and bits. Snorkstalker just subbed 10, 10 minutes ago. A fresh sub. Snorkstalker, if you are still here, I hope you're enjoying. And of course, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good, you're still here. There's a part of me that thinks I need to have um sub alerts just so I don't miss them. Right? Like maybe maybe that's the <laughs> the direction maybe that's why i need them and the crazy ace king with 500 bits i don't i i think i missed that message it was 11 minutes ago oh god oh dr phil oh god oh god dr phil oh god dr phil oh god dr phil What a horrific man. Horrific. Once you learn about some of his history, horrifying. Anyways, and that's not just the show. <laughs> I, uh, okay, auto mod on Twitch? I appreciate that you um, that that you wanted to block people from saying bad things, but it's it's okay if someone is quoting Doctor Phil saying you're ugly, you're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> Doctor Oz is also terrifying. Anyway, uh, we're not going to go into that on this stream though i feel like if i'm going to if i'm going to talk about those people i'd need to make sure i had everything straight because otherwise people are gonna get on my ears he's running for senate now god damn it i fucking that th there was a meme candidate who got in um what my, like okay look not a political stream but marjorie taylor green got in like she she was a QAnon candidate like she was really into QAnon. And then um, she gets in and she like goes on to Infowars and says like, oh, you're you have a like you can vote yes and no and present. Why do they even have the present vote like the present button? Like, why can you just vote present? She doesn't understand why like either she's pretending to be stupid or 
she doesn't understand what an abstention vote is. She's in Congress and she doesn't know what an abstention vote is. <laughs> it's... It's fucking incredible. Yeah, present is abstain. She doesn't understand why anyone would abstain from a vote. There are lots of reasons that someone would abstain from a vote. Ugh. Anyway, she doesn't, there's a member of Congress who doesn't know what an abstention vote is for. Oh dear. You would, you would think that like someone, anyway, anyway, not a political stream that just, and look, that I, I understand that there are some people in chat that might say, but what about this person? They're, they're probably shit too. Okay. Okay. Like I've. Ugh. Anyway, abstaining means you're just a god dang fence sitter. <laughs> there are actually a lot of reasons why you would abstain. Um, one of the main ones is you have a conflict of interest. So like, let's suppose you took like campaign money from a bill that would somehow affect, like directly affect um, like someone that you um, took campaign donate, like took donations from or something. Not that anyone actually adheres to that but you know everyone in politics is garbage i know i am one <laughs> what or or like you know you have a bit it's i know i know you're memeing okay look i'm just gonna keep going <laughs> things went bad from the first day by the time i had gotten there i was scared freaked out and very tired and Jen promised me a full week of uninterrupted time to calm down and relax. I arrived at 3 a.m. on the day I told them to find the house empty and that knocking produced no results. I called the phone, which was busy, so I hunkered down in my car in sub-freezing temperatures and waited for someone to show up. After a couple of hours, I left my car, knocked on the door again, and then yelled through the mail slot trying to find them. Renee eventually came downstairs and let me in. They had locked the door after Jen and Angel left to spend the night driving around doing nothing. What I would later find was one of their favorite pastimes. Um, <laughs> Angel's husband used to give her money to pay for her gas, but after they spend hundreds of dollars every month, he finally gave up on it. Wait, Angel's husband? Oh dear. Angel's husband was treated much the same way as my parents. One day, Jen would be screaming about how she should cut off contact, and the next talking about, about asking him for more money. Everything with Jen was about money. Magic, or some combination of money and magic. She bought everything for its magical property. Didn't you know everything purple was magical? Oh my god, she's like a dragon. Like, oh, this is purple, it's mine now. Confused Moogle noises. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> there are no answers here for you. Lean is magical confirmed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why, uh, why did you, like, get another roommate immediately after the first one? Money. Anyway, that's the first bit of it, but I'm getting tired and want to go to bed. I'll finish this later. Okay. So, where was I? Oh, yes, I had just moved in. Jen had promised that after I had been on the road for days on end, I would be allowed to stay alone in my room for a week and recuperate, but Jen's money senses were a-tingling, and she dragged me out to buy groceries and all sorts of stuff she didn't need, starting the next day at 10 a.m. Never mind the fact that I arrived at 3 a.m. Shortly after I moved in, Angel's jealousy went from bad to horrible. Wait a minute, but Angel has a husband. Whatever. Polly, I guess. She was con- or like, open. I mean, to be fair, if I was married to Angel, I'd probably just like, take any opportunity to let her just go elsewhere and be somewhere I wasn't. 
She was constantly sulking around, giving me dirty looks, etc. Jen's solution to the jealousy issue was to set up a situation where it looked like Jen was cheating on Angel with me, so Angel would realize it's not that bad. Not only did she come up with this horrible idea without telling me, but she kissed me in public randomly when Angel was driving up in the car, making it look like I had made the moves on Jen. Angel was really upset, and I think Angel would have gotten violent if it wasn't obvious that I was in as much shock as she was. This is a perfect example of how Jen starts drama. I moved in with the $17,000. I moved in with $17,000 in my bank account, and soon Jen had drained all of that on necessities all for the house, many of which went into Jen's room and never came out. Soon, after, soon I received a check from the investment company for $80,000, and Jen's spending began again in earnest. I tried to get her to stop spending money on frivolous things, but every time I said no or told her she should spend her own money buying things for herself, she threw a fit. All this time, she was telling me how important I was to her special plan and how the world needed us to stick together so we could conquer evil, etc. Look. I... This... I'm not going to say what should be done, but I think that Jen is one of those people that needs to learn lessons the hard way. Like, she she keeps, like, the way that Jen survives is she keeps finding people to make up for her deficiencies. Like, I, I am going to now spend all of your money on things that I want. All of your money on things that I want. And as soon as I have spent all of your money, I'm like, like, you, like, I, I'm going to spend your money until you leave. Like, that that is what Jen does over and over Jen is the kind of person who needs to, to learn things the difficult way. Want to be a live-in wallet, pretty much. That's just a predator. You're right. It's not even about lessons at this point. There, there For her, there's no lesson to be learned. Because the lesson is, the, the lesson she would take if she was forced to try to learn is, I need to work harder on finding marks. I wanted desperately to feel special. I was scared and alone, and I believed her. She knew a few magic tricks, was very good at reading people, and could give relatively accurate tarot readings. <laughs> I fell for her lies, hook, line, and sinker. Finally, I found an idea as to how to occupy her time making money instead of spending it. I decided we should open a business, Esoterica Curiosities. Since I supplied all the capital, you'd think it would be in my name, but Angel mailed all the forms without telling me and put the business in Jen and Angel's name exclusively. We were going to open an occult shop in Bellefont. Bellefonte? Yeah, she knows she's doing bad, doesn't it? I don't I don't even know that she knows. I feel like she's she doesn't even know what she's doing. She just she's running entirely on impulse. She learned that this works at some point and now just does it over and over. Uh do do do. Uh but Jen liked the idea of opening an occult shop much more than actually doing it. I think she wanted to collect all the occult stuff more than actually run the business. Sippy. Jen has some pretty bizarre ideas about what she thinks she is, who she thinks her ancestors are, and what special powers she thinks she has. Uh, who she thinks her ancestors are. Belfont? Okay, Angelic T, thank you. Like, some interesting ideas about, like, it's been, look, it's been years since I've read this. I don't remember if Jen is one of those people that says, I'm 124th Cherokee. <laughs> Excuse me, Cherokeean. There's a reference. God, all, all Christian references just are depressing now, given the situation. Uh... 
Uh, Jen is a vampire hunter, a term she has made her own definition for except when she is a vampire herself, and not just any vampire, but a master vampire. Oh, and she was going to be the new Vampire Slayer, except she got turned into a vampire instead. Oops. She is Queen of the Fairies <laughs> that live in our backyard and the local park. You'd think being queen would take up all of her time, but it seems she also has time to be the, be the incarnation of death. That motherfucker honing in on Zagreus. He's mine. He's mine. Say the fuck away. Okay, actually, no, you know what? Everyone, like, okay, no, don't you dare hurt Zagreus. <laughs> I'm willing to share Zagreus. But you don't you lay a finger on him. Don't you lay a finger on him. Zagreus would slay her, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yes, she believes she is personally responsible for everyone who dies. Look, Zagreus is a good boy. Holy fuck. I just realized. Zagreus is 100% like, Zagreus is the correct option for fuck, marry, and kill. All of them. Like, y you put three people in front of me, and one of them is Zagreus. I just, I just choose Zagreus for every single one. <laughs> Uh, she must be <laughs> she must be getting all this time from her time magic that she can do because she controls the flow of time she is also the witch king wait Gabriel Hel Helkus says help I followed Ben Hughes and he DM'd asking me if I draw the Simpsons well, there's only one answer yes you do now. <laughs> oh, she is also the Witch King and, and as so has control over legions of Dark Riders from Lord of the Rings who do her bidding. She is also a P12 plus telepath a la Babylon 5 and can read people's minds. She has many other lives that she lives at the same time as this one, all in which she has special powers and no money issues. So Jen thinks she is Morgan Le Fay, who she, is incident who she incidentally is also a descendant of, Lara Croft, Integra Helsing, Alucard from Helsing, everyone from the Incredibles cartoon, Arwen from Lord of the Rings, Genova from Final Fantasy VII, Sephiroth, Cloud, and Zack, uh, also from Final Fantasy VII, Ultimica, Ultim Ultimicia, Ultimis I I've heard this name before, I think, Ultimicia, Ultimicia, from Final Fantasy, who also happens to be her mother, Garnet, Steiner from uh, Final Fantasy VIII, Quite a bit of the cast from Babylon 5. Buffy, Summers, Angel, Spike, Drusilla, the Master, Willow, Xander, and anyone else she thinks is cool from Buffy the Vampire, Vampire Slayer. I think I'm going to be selling some of Jen's worthless stuff that she left here on eBay along with the description of what happened to me. I was wondering if I could link your site as well. I'm hoping that people will feel sorry for me and pay more than the item is worth. For instance, I have a riding crop that Jen broke across Angel's back and then continued to whip her with, leaving huge bleeding gashes across her back. That might sell. <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like Mela is also a little bit fucked up, right? Anyone else feel that? Like, I feel like... In this case, everyone, everyone here is fucked up a little bit. Right? Like, that, that is fucked up. I would love to have my experience po- like, <laughs> it's, it's like, um, it's like Captain Crunch cereal, whoops all assholes. 
I would love to have my experience posted on the site. Actually, I wouldn't mind having the name Mela posted as the author on the site as it isn't my real name, it's just the name everyone calls me, and if people want to bust my ass about it, well, then they're gonna bust my ass about it. I would also like to write something about what Jen and I experienced at boarding school, along with a note about my theories about why Jen is the way she is. What Jen and I went through together was much worse than what I put up with from Jen. Also, people need to watch out for Angel as well, as Angel is much more violent than Jen, and as I continue the narrative you will see, she is definitely a loose cannon. Uh, you mean Renee? Renee was living with nearly no contact with Jen, except when Jen would cook or yell at her, which I never saw happen for Renee, uh, making too much noise by the way. In the entire two years I lived with them, I never saw Renee and Jen as a couple. They certainly never had sex. Jen always was with Angel, and Renee would occasionally have sex with Angel, but Jen always wanted everything on her terms. Not that Renee was completely innocent, I seriously think Renee is more disturbed than Jen, she's just antisocial, so she isn't interested in manipulating people. Not that I mind disturbed. Yeah, you should have seen how much Jen flipped when she found the, the site. I was actually the one in the house who found it first, and I just started laughing because I didn't believe it. I was like, haha, some people made a funny site about how they don't like Jen. Jen was livid. Yeah, uh, Renee is Hojo, by the way. I know that like everyone has a million different names. I wouldn't mind if she harassed me. At least she would be talking to me then. Then I could harass her about all the stuff she stole from me. Here's an email I mailed them yesterday. Let's check it out. This is, uh, do to do, do Renee, I, uh, I'd really like an answer soon about what you want to do about the computer. I can't just continue to let you use it without either paying me back or making some sort of arrangement. It is rude to, abs and then Jen says, it is rude to abscond with other people's things and place them in storage where they will get ruined. Anna, oh, so no, no, this is not them saying it. Um, this is Mela talking to them. Renee, um, like, wants to know... Uh, small brain. Um, so, wants to know about what to do with the computer. Uh, to Jen, it's rude to uh, abscond, things and put, abscond with things and put them in storage. Anna, it, which who I think is Angel. It is blatantly wrong to bash someone's head into the floor until they lose consciousness, whether you mean to or not. How can you accidentally beat someone to unconsciousness? To all, I would like to know which company you are storing things with and which unit you have so I can inform the police. When you come back and we try to sort things out, understand that I will not attack you. I will not touch you. I will not even get close to you. I mean, with how they smelled, of course you wouldn't want to get close to them. However, I will inform the police at the beginning of the day of your history of violence, and if you attack me, I will have witnesses present, and I will have the police department on speed dial. What? That's just 911. It's just 9, like, just, it, it's like, it's 911. You don't need the police, never mind. You will go to jail if you attack me. I have to protect myself from the loose cannon and those at the mercy of all the whacked out people in her system. The police won't assume it's not your fault because someone else in my head did it. <laughs> I may not have a current address or phone number for you, I may not even know what city you are living in, but I do have full names, pictures, dates of birth, and social security numbers for all of you. That is more than enough information for the police to find you. I have witnesses, I have pictures, I have co collaborating, I think she meant corroborating, evidence. All I want is for you to have the decency you should have had from the beginning. All I want is my stuff back. I understand you are not living nearby. I am willing to wait as long as you promise to give me all of my stuff back. Here is a partial list of the things I can come up with that I want back. 1. All the stuff I ordered from Franklin Mint, Unicorn Crystal Ball Holder, hull, <laughs> Unicorn Crystal Ball Holder. Imagine stealing that from someone. Imagine stealing someone's Unicorn Crystal Ball Holder. Like, you're getting out of there. You want that taking up space? Statues, dolls, hourglasses, Arwen's butterfly brooch, Galadriel's necklace, etc. Everything I ever bought from Franklin Mint. 
I have recipe receipts. I almost said recipes. I have receipts for these items that show I was the one who bought them. By the way, uh, I think that she would know uh, their social security numbers because of rent, maybe. Because Jen and, Ho uh, Jen and um, Hojo and Angel would ostensibly be renters, even if they didn't pay at all. Uh, two. All the crystals, rocks, and gems I bought for the house, especially the large ones and the ones bought off eBay. This includes Saruman's sphere. Uh, I I think you mean his palantir. <laughs> and the and the other amber sphere bought with my money. Three. All the stuff Jen and Anna absconded with from the kitchen. This includes the rolling pin. <laughs> Who steals a fucking rolling pin? Like, why? <laughs> Four, all the metaphysical books that Jen absconded with from her room. Five, all the dolls I bought because everyone has a Drusilla that likes dolls. A Drusilla? What? Also, the doll that Freya gave Jen. This is me wanting this, not her. All, six, all the board games that were absconded with. This includes Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Risk, Jenga, Candyland, and Shoots and Ladders. Again, who the fuck steals a copy of Can- Oh, you know why she stole Candyland? Because she wanted Mr. Mint. She wanted that minty asshole. That was a very Mike moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually leave that kind of thing for Mike. The Mintussy. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. Seven, I want payment from Anna to cover the repair of the door she broke. Eight, I want payment from all of you to cover the weeks of cleaning I had to do after you left. The condition you left the third floor that Jen and Anna left their bedroom, etc. is unacceptable. Nine, I want rent payment from Jen and Anna at the rate that they charged everyone else in the house for the time after Jen's grandmother died. Jem was paying nothing into the house. All her money went to pay Anna's car for several months at a rate of $800 a month for two people. This has to be in excess of 10k. Je uh, get, get your receipts straight before you start demanding money like that. Man, Jen insisted that everyone else pay their back rent when they didn't pay it while they lived here. Jen is no different. 10. I want all the Aishas I bought to sell on eBay in the condition in which I bought them. Oh, that's like a ne that's a Neopet. That's a Neopet with like the big, long... You guys can't see me actually moving my hands on my head, but like, they have like the, the uh, antennae, right? 11. I want all my fabric back. A large quantity of the velvet is gone. Oh my, it's... I feel like velvet is a very vampire nerd kind of thing, right? Jen almost certainly does not have 10k. With all the random shit she has, she could eBay it. To get 10k, I'll bet. Although, like, what? Like, this is the wild thing. Like, they keep moving. Where are they keeping all their stuff? And how are they moving it? Because apparently they have tons of shit. That's one thing that kind of doesn't line up in this whole uh, Final Fantasy House story. That makes it a little suspect. 12. I want my corsets back. They mysteriously disappeared when you left. <laughs> 13. I want access to the storage unit, and I want to go through everything with all of you present so we can sort out what belongs to who. 14. I want all the furniture I bought back. This includes the small writing desk I bought at the antique shop. In short, I want everything I ever bought back. You should never have taken it to begin with. Ah. <sighs> They just, like, ran off with a bunch of shit. 
they were wearing the corsets against the skin. Oh yeah, they're definitely the kind of person who would do that. I feel like these are the kind of people that like just wear the loose fitting, like they don't tighten the corset. Which is fair, like corsets really fucked with people's bodies. Wearing a corset the way it was like intended to be is probably not a great idea. Never was a good idea. Bet that she sells it every time someone leaves so they can finance their lifestyles. I think you might be right, trade on. Yeah. That that might be possible. This entire subject is just the epitome of gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> Floydian sound that they, they have you think they have MPD I feel like this is just fantasizing gone too far like that's what this smacks of more than anything I feel like it's really easy to just say oh this person has this mental illness but I think that like they got like they're ever like everyone has something up with them it's not a real term anymore. Oh, okay. I, I'm i so not up to date on this shit. Your sister is MPD. Like, I I believe you. I, I, I believe that you know what it is. I'm, I'm just also dubious because this is... It's... Or DID. Is it, is it, people are saying, like, multiple personality disorder isn't something that gets, um, that gets diagnosed anymore? It's, like, disassociative identity disorder? Look, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that Jen is fucking people over. Oh, the crazy Ace King. Hey Fred, my dad's 91 and he's lived in New York City his whole life. When I first watched your video on the call, your brothers, I asked him about them and he laughed and said, where did you hear about that? That was a lifetime ago. <laughs> that that must have been fun to bring up. That, I, I'm curious, did he start talking about them? And about the sort of, um, about the sort of like media that was around them? Because there were, like, my understanding is, like, I, I found uh, quite a few, uh, like, when I was researching, I found quite a few articles about them. Okay. Well, hey, guys, guess what I'm doing? Like, our, our first sippy break was half an hour late. But I think... We are actually going to do this one on time. It's been an hour and our stream, uh, we've been going for two and a half hours. Typically streams go for three hours, but um, we'll do three and a half this time because we just went over time on the first break. So everyone, I encourage you, stand up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, get yourself a sippy. And I'll see you in a little bit. Get yourself hydration. Take care of yourselves. Five minutes. See you soon.
I'm going to preface what I'm about to say by saying probably don't play Song of Saya. It, it It's pretty fucked up. Um, it's rough. It's real, real rough. However, when I am reading the Final Fantasy House, I feel a certain way. In Song of Saya, yeah, Saya no Uta. In, in also like Song of Saya is its English translation, Saya no Uta, yeah. The main character is afflicted with a a a mental problem in which he sees everything and everyone as being either covered in meat or made out of meat or horrible monstrosities. I feel like when I am reading the Final Fantasy House, I feel like the main character except everything I look at is a red flag or is covered in red flags. Everything, everyone, is just a red flag in the story of the Final Fantasy House. Ah, oh. shall we continue? Oh, Crazy Ace King responded to my question. My dad's a bit of a sadist. He recounted the story and laughed about it. Then again, maybe he got a kick about remember remembering something from that long ago. I feel like it's one of those things where it's just, like people don't really look too close into it and it's amusing from that far away. Right? And yes, I do know that the per like one of the people involved with um Sayo no Uta also wrote uh, Madoka. That also was a good series. Well, also. <laughs> Saya is... Song of Saya is... It's... It's good if you want to ruin your life for a while. <laughs> I, I had to watch a playthrough on YouTube. And like skip through parts. It also skips some of the, um, hmm, because it's on YouTube. If, if you're going to engage with it, maybe watching someone else's playthrough is a, a, a better way to go through it. Probably the best way. See, here's the thing, Junji Ito, I feel like, is better. Song of Saya definitely does things that are just, like, just there to squick you out and fuck you up. Whereas I think Junji Ito is a little bit... I feel like Junji Ito doesn't take as much glee in making things just as repulsive as possible. Does that make sense? Like, he, he loves his job, for sure. Um, and he loves making it disgusting, but there's, like, I feel like he's tapping into something more, uh, whereas Song of Saya just is horrifying. <laughs> Maybe I just can't get past how, how disgusting it is. Who knows? Junji Ito has tacked. Wait, yeah, uh, you know, I want to say, I, I want to agree with you, but he also has the scene of, someone mentioned the Grease story. There are some scenes in there that are just, mmm... Anyway, we are reading <laughs> Final Fantasy House. Maybe we can get through this one page today. Yay! I'd be tempted to take my information and use it to defraud her, but neither of them have any credit. Like, again, again, these people are nothing but red flags. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Kachunk. It, like, just rises up out of the ground and no i didn't go to the hospital for it they threatened to send me to the loony bin for doing it to myself and for writing on the walls in my own house which was what prompted the head bashing 
Jem was always complaining that I went to the hospital too much. I guess more often than her equals too much because my parents would pay for me to go to the ER whenever I had a migraine and Jen avoided, god damn, and Jen avoided hospitals at all costs even when she was bitching and moaning and threatening to go to the ER because she was so faking being sick. Actually, it was kind of a funny story because Jen apparently has chronically recurring mono, uh, aka stay in bed all day and feel sorry for myself itis. So you can, I, I think that you can get, um, well, okay. No, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. And Jen was not very sick with diarrhea and throwing up everything because she was so stressed about being sick and she kept threatening to go to the hospital ER hoping that everyone would realize how sick she was. I will agree that she is sick in the head, but this wasn't what she was talking about. And feel sorry for her or do stuff for her or something. But anyway, she keeps threatening to go to the ER and I keep telling her, go. Go to the hospital and get some medicine and get better, instead of griping about it to me. Everyone is telling her to go, and she is whining about how expensive it will be, and I'm like, look, you have no income, you pay no taxes. The hospital has this policy where they have to treat you, and if you have no income, they will do it for free. I mean, it's more complicated than that, but that's why people donate money to the hospitals, and suddenly she gets this dumb look on her face like I had ruined her plan, and suddenly it dawned on me. I had ruined her plan. Her angle was this, she was sick, very sick, but poor, poor, pitiful Jen was too poor to be able to afford a trip to the hospital, and in order to save money so that everyone in the house could live and eat and contribute to her shiny collection, she would sacrifice her health. I realized this, and I just looked at her like she was the dumbest person on the planet, which she is about money, well, the second dumbest, but that's its own story, which I will only tell if you are interested enough to ask. But yeah, I think she likes being poor, likes living off of others' generosity. I think it makes her feel that other people love her, at least enough to pay her for doing nothing. I think every time someone buys her something, it reinforces her feeling of importance. I don't think she realizes it makes people resent her. Now, this is the part in the story where I tell all of you, unreliable narrator, remember that just because we're reading something, just because we are looking into something, doesn't mean that the person is always completely correct or is always like saying things in a good way or a proper way. You have, when we are reading things like this, you kind of have to accept that not all of it is going to be like kosher, not all of it is going to be um, accurate, not all of the, um, of the assertions that the writer makes is correct. Um, this person very clearly has her own problems she's talking about. It's like, yeah, I have all the stuff. Like, saying that she would defraud them, but they don't have enough money to make it worth it. Like, again, Mela, Like, Jen and Renee and Angel are all just walking red flags, but so is Mela. <laughs> so is Mela. This is red flags flapping all over one another. Like with her teeth. Jen claims she lost two teeth as a result of a sword fighting injury. The way she described it sounds highly suspicious. Jen inter intermittently complained of how her completely missing teeth provided near constant misery, but she only complained after she spent all my money. I don't think Jen ever wanted her teeth fixed. It would eliminate something she could be the victim of, hold over Renee's head, and get to play poor, poor, pitiful me about. So Jen had no issue with spending well over $50,000 of my money on frivolous shit. But she claimed it would be uncouth of her to ask me to pay a $225 dental bill to end her constant misery. Yeah, like th this needs some TL susses in chat real quick. This needs some some big TL sus. Also, I can't figure out why it was okay in her mind to get on disability, which she makes a half-hearted attempt to do, but not to try and get food stamps, even when we had no money and no food. 
I think this has something to do with the fact that in spite of her desire to be poor, she also wanted everyone to think she was rich. She was still the spoiled little rich girl. To be fair, I, I feel like this is, this is something that is not that uncommon. Food stamps equal bad because poor people get them and disability equals good because it was the authorities saying it was not her fault she couldn't work. Oh wait, I forgot she had three jobs. Head desk. Running the Helsing Forum on thehelsing.org, a job which mostly provided her with the opportunity to ridicule people. Two, sticking her nose into other people's business at the house. Three, helping people wrongly involved in the occult. Yeah, I saw her maybe spend a few hours on this the whole time she was here. In spite of what she claims, she never counseled vampires. She thinks she fucking is one. She mostly finds people role-playing on the internet and tells them about how drinking blood is bad because you can get diseases and stuff. 4. I will add number 4. Caution, this is not a gen approved job. Playing Neopets, reading Slash, and Incredibles fandom. She definitely spent more than 5 hours a day doing Neopets, Slash, and Incredibles. Oh, and Jess, one of the other roommates of Jen, and I is here. She says hi. She doesn't like Jen either. Can I give her your email? Jem would always get mad because my car always had gas and kept suspecting that I was hiding money. It wasn't that hard to always fill up on the way home from work and then never run out of gas as opposed to always pumping $5 or less. Oh, and the painting on the walls. It was in dry erase marker. Here's a copy of a conversation I had with someone about the incident and another like it. Um, yeah, we'll take a detour. Oops, wrong one. This was between, so this is Mela's AIM transcript. Uh, this was between Mela and her friend and is a record of when Jen essentially drove her nuts and then convinced her it was her fault. Oh, and beat her. One of the main reasons why I couldn't live with them anymore, anymore was because they started getting abusive. Would you like me to tell you what happened so you can compare stories? I have witnesses. Sure. Want to go out for some ice cream? Sure. Jen and I were having a verbal argument about something. I think it was money, but I can't remember for sure. But Jen was standing like 7 to 10 feet away from me. In the kitchen. Apparently, she thought I was being irrational and moving my hands up and down too much. That's what she told me later. Man, I can't even move my hands up and down right now. That'll happen eventually. Gee. <laughs> So she walked up to me and slapped me. She said it was to calm me down, but I felt attacked. And so I put out my arms and held her away. Then Jen started punching me and someone grabbed my hair and drug me to the ground. Then Jen and Anna were hitting me, mostly in the face, and pulling my hair up and down, and in doing so, pulling the back of my head into the floor. I had a hold of someone's hair because it came into my range and was kicking and biting anything I could, hoping to get them off of me, but both of them sat on me. <laughs> But both of them sat on me, then Jen started choking me and I blacked out, but not from her choking me because she wasn't doing a good job of that, but because she hit my head on the floor too much. I came to and Jen was ranting about how she and Anna were leaving and how she was going to call the meadows on me if I didn't get, get up right now, but I couldn't because I couldn't move, I could hear everything but not move. She called my parents and said I had gone crazy, they almost left, in fact now I wish they had. Oh, I remember what the fight was about. Jen had decided that I was behaving badly and that no one in the house should talk to me, so everyone went on silence from me. Okay, they all pretended I wasn't there. So I took out a dry erase marker and wrote something along the lines of Am I going crazy? Will someone please talk to me on the walls? Jen threw a fit, saying that I was destroying her house, when the house is mine to begin with. Also, it's dry erase marker, it wipes off, we even had special cleaner for it, but yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, and then the Meadows is a local psychiatric place. Insane Asylum. Um, me and Jen are uh, gonna have a talk. Just damn. The whole thing. Uh, at the time I was bleeding. Do -do -do. The floor was, uh, was a really blunt object. Uh, bleeding. Now, in order for this to make sense, 
You have to understand a few things about how I work when I feel threatened. Uh, I'm guessing not peaceably. Not really. I have a tendency to berserk someone else's fronts and I start fighting and I just don't stop. Oh, so, okay. So fronting is what, so these are all soul bonders. Um, these are all people who like, ha like believe that they have d fictitious characters inside of them. So like when they get angry, I, this sounds like that this, again, red flag. This sounds like an excuse to get violent when they're angry. Um, Uh, so, uh, someone else fronts and I start fighting and I just don't stop. But if it's someone else fronting, wouldn't, uh, so the friend says, but if it's someone else fronting, wouldn't that cease to be you in the eye sense? I admit to bad understanding of multiple systems. Um, I've gotten much better at this and at coming back front, but still I've told all of them that it's so, so this is her talking about the, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> She she's saying like I I got I got to yell at the the different fictional characters inside of me right now. Um, I've told all of them that if they're yelling at me or we're in a big fight, don't touch me, don't hit me, don't slap me. I'm really flighty. Yes, I don't know who this person is who reacts this way, as the person will only front when threatened. So it's just you. It is it's just you. You just want to hit people and you go into a blind... You know what this is? This person goes... This person goes into a blind rage and they believe that it's like some fictitious character inside of them fronting. Like they don't understand what a blind rage is. So they come up with, with like a, a soul bonding excuse for it. Oh my god. I, I feel like I'm realizing all of this now. Um, I really think that this is just an excuse for going into a blind rage and having, like, anger issues. But explain why their parents were, like, kind of got rid of them. If they were constantly violent. Um, got, uh, I've gotten in situations where I felt threatened since then and managed to stay front, and it's much better now, but I don't want to make that go away entirely as it's a good safety mechanism. <laughs> When this person fronts, I do not react to pain. Nothing short of several people sitting on me will restrain me. Yeah, it's... it. Yeah, you're in a blind rage. That That's what that is. The joys of a good adrenaline rush too. The person used to make me forget what happened when they fronted, but now I remember most of it. So that, that also is what blind rage does. You get angry and then you just don't remember. Like, that. that's just a thing that happens. Uh, when I, this is very different than when I said I blacked out when they hit my head on the floor. When I blacked out, I lay there motionless the whole time as opposed to fighting and not remembering. Um, I was in the living room, or as we called it then, the library. Jem was on the computer, and Anna was sitting behind her, and between us we were talking about something all calm, and I turned a little to the left and saw something that made me really happy. I had found my favorite pencil, the pencil I had been <laughs> The pencil I have been missing for over a year was sitting out on the table. Jen interrupted me. Mine. It's mine. Her tone of voice was horrible. Are you telling me that a fight happened over a pencil? Uh, she was literally seeping hatred. I was shocked. She was like, give it here, give it here now. I was like, it's my pencil. She was like, I bought it last week, give it here now. She could have bought the same kind of pencil that week. And I was thinking about how we were short... <laughs> it just keeps barreling forward. And I was thinking about how we were short on the mortgage that month. Like, we were probably 200 or $300 short on the mortgage and hadn't paid any of the other bills yet that month. And later on, I found out that Jen had went out and spent $40 on office supplies to satisfy her syndrome. But either way, I was kind of upset. Much more upset about how she was yelling at me about... This is just a dumpster fire. This, this whole thing is just a dumpster fire. Uh, I couldn't reach it to give her, so I tossed it not hard at all. It was underhand and would have landed on her chest if she had moved out of the way and stood up. She reached down and picked up the pencil and hurled it at me. Then she threw the entire pencil box at my head, hit me pretty hard. Then she lunged at me. Anna was in the way and Anna stopped her and held her back for maybe 30 seconds. I was freaking out by then. Jen kind of calmed down. God, again, this is red flag central. I, I, I don't have enough fingers and toes to count all of them. 
Uh, then she had been yelling about how I throwed it at her eye, which I did throw it higher than I had intended because I was all adrenaline and scared, but nowhere near her head. Uh, and I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to from the beginning. So Anna gets done holding Jem back. And this poor friend, this poor friend is listening and like trying to like be reasonable. And then Mela's like, no, I, I, I was like, there was someone fronting. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> So Anna gets done holding Jem back, and she turns around and slugs me in the face. And I tried to push her out of range, but Anna weighs like 210 or 220 at the time. I weighed like 120 or 130. Way out of my weight class. So she starts hitting me in the face, and I grabbed a hold of her hair, and she took me down onto the floor. Well, I'm laying there under her, and she keeps hitting me in the face, and I'm kicking at anything I can see. I'm biting at anything that's in reach. All the while, she's hitting me in the head and the face and pinning me to the ground, and I could feel the berserker under my skin and i was fighting very hard to not bite chunks out of her so she hits me just wrong and catches me the right ring yada 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 they they fight uh oh catches me with her ring on my eye socket and it starts gushing a little wound but there was blood everywhere and it's kind of deep so renee's like okay here there's blood you need to stop and i go limp and it keeps hitting me for at least the next minute. And I waited until I decided that she really wasn't going to stop. And then I started defending myself again. And they, they just fight. This is just unpleasant to read. This is just grossly unpleasant. Un unpleasant. Unpleasant. She got a wooden dowel about an inch in diameter and flat on the end and held it up to my chest and tried to stake me <laughs> at this point. And it takes the full force of a sharpened stick, a sharpened pencil. Oh yeah, there there was a dude who like stabbed me in the arm with a pencil in high school. The dude, the dude like was easily like the best performing student there. Like he like he always he was really obsessed with um getting um like the best marks possible. And I, I think like we we were we were in a group or something, and this like I we had a disagreement. I think about like nukes and mutually assured destruction or something. I don't even remember um, what I was arguing. He gets like so pissed off about this about this disagreement that he takes a pencil and tries to stab me in the arm. Fortunately, he was so inept that he just like scraped it. Is it Rev? <laughs> Yes, it was Rev. Yeah, so we have Rev stabbed a guy and Fred got stabbed. No, he he took a pencil and like tried to stab me but failed. Um, he missed. It just kind of like slid off my arm. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know where that kid went. I think he ended up like going to like some sort of special smart kid school, but the dude, the the, the dude, the dude tried to stab me. Like he he went hard. I if he became a nuclear engineer, yeah, he gets in a disagreement about like with someone, and then he just launches the nukes, <laughs> melts the core. What if I found out he was the CEO of some big company? I believe it. Hope the kid's okay. I guess. He tried to stab me. It was such like... I feel like it was a really innocuous argument too. It was so surprising because it felt really innocuous. I think that there was something going on. Because um, like... I, I know that he had... Um, I think he would stim sometimes, like he he would he would very quickly like wiggle his fingers and like sort of clench up a little bit. I I couldn't tell you what it was. It's like when he got excited, um, he started uh, doing that. I I have I have no idea what it could have been, but his mom was an ICBM. <laughs> but but then he tried to stab me, so you know. 
Like I I I I'm I have no idea if it related. But there there clearly was something like going on. Uh, I kept hearing Anna screaming downstairs. Now she wanted me out of the house. My house, after a few minutes, I went to the top of the stairs and yelled, I want her out of my hearing range or I'll call the cops. Da, da, da. Um, yeah. Cool. His berserker clearly fronted. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to... An argument is no re- Yeah, we were having an argument about uh, mad tactics, and he went nuclear on me. <laughs> yeah, he had he had stuff going on in his head, but I feel like even then, I don't think he ever got violent with anyone else, just me. Just me. So this is the condition they left the house in, which is, oh my god, is that the- it's an Incredibles- it's Incredibles shampoo. I, d I didn't ever take a really good look at these, but that's Incredibles shampoo. Because, like she was saying, I feel like there's so many little fa- I- I'm willing to bet that Jen comes in and out of fandoms very co very commonly. Also, I think the Reynolds wrap is there for hair dye. Because, like, that would make sense, right? These are the kind of people who would dye their hair all sorts of funny colors. So they probably had the Reynolds wrap there for, um, for dyeing their hair. And that bottle, that bottle is, uh, The Incredibles. Uh, that bottle, I don't know. Mystery bottle. Yeah, what liquid is contained within... What if we drank it? Do you think we'd go blind? What is... Like, there's, there's just random shit. Tidy cats. Oh, no. You know that this house stank of cat piss. Right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone in chat. Right as I said that, these pictures reek of cat piss. Yeah. Oh no, Damnant Vulpes says, I had a classmate back in the day that thought she was like a Yandere girl who tried to stab me with a mechanical pencil and I ended up with giant, gigantic scars all over my stomach and back. What the fuck? What the shit? That's not Yandere. That's rabies. I, I thought I saw needles for a second, but it's all just pens. <laughs> I feel like Dora the Explorer. Can you find the needle? <laughs> I think the- oh, those are like tempera paints. I think. Yeah, you can smell this house, right? What else? Like, okay, why the fuck is a pencil sharpener just sitting on this bed? What is that, a candle? A scented candle? A bell. Oh, no. Can you imagine? I, I bet they were ringing that all the time. Yo, is that a cum jar? Well, yeah, where else am I going to put my Incredibles figurines? Uh, what else? I think that's, is that a bottle of like Tums or something? Or are those, that, that looks like an antacid bottle. Is that Schweppes? Schweppes? I think so. What are they mixing with it? You know what? These are the kinds of motherfuckers who would just drink Schweppes straight. What else? Space, uh, there's a space heater. Good aesthetic. The, the cable all over the floor. Is that Canada? It might be Canada dry, but the, the thing on top, the, the text on top looks longer. 
I'm not really seeing anything else. Ugh, tissues all over the floor. Paper. Ugh. I, I think I'm just biased against this sort of wooden floor, too, though. Perfectly good keyboard. <laughs> just fabric. You, you know how you have, like, you know, like, do any of you know people who just have fabric? You visit them, and then you visit them a year later, and all of the same fabric is still in the same box. And then you come back a year later, and all the same fabric is still in the same box. And they promise they're going to do something with it eventually. These are your crafty friends. Not your artistic friends, your crafty friends. <laughs> Look, if it's just taking up space and you're not going to use it, then just get rid of it. And be honest with yourself if you're going to use it. The, t the empty Tide bottles just kind of are good hanging out there. You mean hoarders? No, I feel like these are different than hoarders. Hoarders certainly will hold on to, like, onto fabric. They'll hold on to anything. But I'm, I'm talking specifically the fabric friend. God. Just imagine... Could you imagine the sound of a vacuum going over all of this wood? That would be so satisfying. The, the, the little clicking sounds of all the little bits being sucked up into the bag. Yeah. Be like a, it would be like a drum solo. Neil Pert got nothing on the vacuum about to suck up all the dirt on this floor. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Cats. It's cat stuff. That's what this is. Tidy cats, I think it says. Tidy cats? I, I can't tell. And yeah, there's just a fucking conch on the floor where it belongs. <laughs> who else, like, who doesn't have a floor conch? That's Lysol spray. Uh, um, lint roller. That's just a feather, a random feather. Crops. More shit. Plant. Is that a Venus fucking flytrap? Is is it? You guys see that? I don't trust any of these people to take care of a of a, a Venus flytrap. Unless they're like feeding it the fleas on their bodies. There'll be enough flies, yeah. Good point. The table made out of not table. <laughs> I never would have put up with being hit if Jen hadn't made it seem like it was my fault and told me repeatedly that I attacked her then blacked out. I am not the kind of person who gets abused. The pictures are of after they left. The room looked similar with much more stuff strewn when they lived there. I told them with my mom's digicam so that if I needed them with the police to prove the mess they made, I would have proof. Yes, there was glitter everywhere. I am still removing glitter from all over. I still find random glitter in my crotch all the time. That's how much it's everywhere. And oh, how Jen smelled. Angel was much worse, though. I didn't think that girl ever bathed, they just kept adding perfume. And Jen's purple skirt slash dress stinked to high heaven, that was until I made her other clothes to wear. Even then she wore the dress skirts all the time, and always kept insisting that her clothes were too large except in the tits. Whenever something was too small, it was too small for her shoulders. Whenever too large, it was too baggy around her stomach. She sure had a deluded idea of what she looked like at 200 pounds. I just had something scary happen. I just heard a chorus of people saying just because she bought expensive bubble bath doesn't mean she used it. Like two other people said that at the same time. I finally figured out how to get Jen to bathe. I would tell her she smelled like a vampire and she would go and shower so that no one would know. 
I think that was genius. That is genius. Playing into it. Just like... <laughs> anything to get you to fucking bathe. <laughs> Based. Smart. Yeah. Get the... <laughs> Oh god, the purple thing finally wore far beyond repair. I had to replace all but the patterned panels of it. Renee took the old velvet and used it as an altar cloth, but oops, she left it here when she moved out. I used a piece of it to make Jen the voodoo doll. Jen has been baking in the sun for over a month. Wait a minute. <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> um Jen has been you know what this is? This is that moment in Lilo and Stitch. My friends need to be punished. Jen has been baking in the sun for over a month. Jen will soon be going down to spend some time in the haunted basement. Did I mention I'm a bitch? I think it's justified. Look, when someone tells you what they're like, believe them the first time. It is kind of late and my girlfriend wants me to go to bed, but I'm normally up till near dawn. I'm a stripper and I work nights only. Oh, that's another thing, how Jen pressured me into being a stripper. How Jen thought she looked good enough to dance. I had a good job working for a bank, but that wasn't good enough for Jen. I wasn't making enough money, even though I was making more money than she was being given. So they pressured me into being a stripper. Ended up being a good thing, I love my job, but still, you don't pressure your friends into working in the sex industry unless you work in the sex industry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everything about this is so fucked. <laughs> Coffee Kindred. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a bit of a weirdo. I don't fit in. And I don't want to fit in. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. I'm... No, the, the word for that is... Quirky. <laughs> Be very wary of... Quirky people. You know what? No. I'm actually going to amend that. Be wary of people who call themselves quirky. Don't be wary of quirky people. Quirky people are going to be some of the best people that you ever meet. Be wary of people who call themselves quirky. Because if you are something, you probably shouldn't have to describe yourself that way. Be very wary of people who say, I'm a nice person. Because if they are a nice person, they shouldn't have to fucking say it. And then if someone says, I'm a psycho, believe them. <laughs> uh, yeah, Plico Plico just gave the ultimate one. I'm an empath. <laughs> oh my god. F fuck that. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm just going to eventually alienate everyone. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm hip. I'm a twisted fucking psychopath. <laughs> You try to ride your bike on me, you're gonna get thrown to the wind. Ugh. Oh. No, if someone says, I'm nice, I just don't take bullshit. It's... <laughs> oh, dear. I'm quirky. Uh, it's the order of which you alienate us that's interesting. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I have red flag syndrome. Uh, 
All of you look like red flags to me. That red flags is a Twitch streamer. Uh oh. <laughs> Hmm. Talks about weird people online. <laughs> Red flag. I'm quirky. Ugh. <laughs> uh, if someone says I'm a leopard, that will eat your face. <laughs> right. The the. <laughs> I couldn't believe that the leopards would eat my face, says woman who voted for the face-eating leopards party. Wasn't that how that went? Wasn't that how that meme went? I'm just, oh my god, if anyone says, like, I'm just honest. I'm just honest. Uh, th then they're just an asshole. Look, there are ways to be honest while being sensitive to other people. Okay? Like, the way you word something can be very important. If someone's, like, if someone says, I'm just honest, what it means is that they're blunt to the point of being offensive. It, yeah, try to, like, try to be sensitive to the other person. I think you're cute. I'm just being honest. Okay, that's kind of sweet. My mom is an I'm an empath person. She is exactly the kind of person you think she is. Oh, God. I I have some story. Yeah, I... <laughs> a person who says that they're just honest is 80% more likely to use a slur. <laughs> uh, what if you suck at being sensitive? That's a skill that you can work on. Like, he, here's the thing. If someone says, I'm just honest, what that means is that they have never taken the time to try to learn to be sensitive to other people's feelings. I certainly, like, am not perfect at it, but it's a skill and you can build it up. Don't just say, oh, like, I, I'm honest like, and offensive and people just don't like that. That the problem is with them. It's like, no, be being sensitive is a skill that you can take time to learn, and it's worth learning. I promise you, it is a skill worth practicing and learning just in your everyday life. If you're, if you have something that, if you have something negative to say, then just take a moment. Like, I understand that people are frustrated at like, you know, your editor, your internal editor, you know, kill the editor, but you know, it is very worthwhile to, when you're about to say something, stop, ask yourself, is there a better way to say it? And then think about it for a moment. Other, if you are consistently courteous and kind and thoughtful about the way that you say things, people will not mind you taking an extra three or four or five seconds to say what you're trying to get out. It's like, this is something that you can practice. Like, and that's the thing is like the, the way that you practice it is very easy. If you're talking with someone and you're discussing something, especially if it's something sensitive, whenever you say something, take a second, consider how you want to say it. And oftentimes the more precise way of, so of saying something is not only more informative, and easier to understand, but it's also kinder. Precision is often kinder. Because I I personally have found that a lot of harm, a lot of the harm that comes from speaking with other people comes from generalization and imprecision. So just taking a second to be more precise will off like it is a good first step. And I'm saying all of this because this is shit that I needed to learn. I was the asshole that would just, like, say whatever came to my mind right off the bat. Like, immediately. I would say whatever came to my mind immediately, and often it would be rude. So I took a little while. 
Like I, I started taking time to consider how I wanted to say something. And it's, it's helped. It's helped a lot in a lot of different ways. It helps encourage the analytical part of your brain. It helps you be kinder. It helps you consider other people's feelings a bit more. Again, it's something I had to train, but I did it. <laughs> you disagree with me? Here, <laughs> Frankie DF Coon down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Anyway, that's, that is how you practically can learn to like, that is, that is the method that I used. It might not work for everyone, but it worked for me. I like, and I am calling myself out here. It is still something that I struggle with. Sometimes I say what's on my mind immediately and it's, uh, and it's imprecise and it's unkind and it's insensitive. I do that still. I don't like it. It's something that I still have to practice, and it's something that I continue to practice. And it's possible to backslide on it. I have. So I'm trying to be better. Anyways, uh, so that's stream. <laughs> I'm an empath, and here's how you become an empath. <laughs> oh. Yeah, progress isn't linear. That's okay. What was the stream with the mic feel good at parties, God? <laughs> I swear to God, I meant it as, like... I... <laughs> Like, w w if you're alone in the corner, Mike will be like, yeah, come on. Come and hang out. I swear to God, it was supposed to be a kind statement. Ah. <sighs> Zippy. He took that so to heart. I know. He says he didn't, though. I, I, I think now he does it just because he knows. He, he says... He brings it up because he knows it bothers me. <laughs> he knows that I feel bad about it still, so he brings it up and it's just like, <laughs> jabs it in my fucking ribs. I know he's teasing me. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, my, Mike is welcoming. He's very welcoming. And like... So Mike is a very welcoming person and I'm over here being like building my DNI list. If you call yourself an empath, if you have these red flags, <laughs> I, I'm just building my stream DNI list. Oh my God. How do you feel about making the most backhanded compliment possible? I'm saying he actively does things to make people feel good about themselves. <laughs> hmm. I'm slowly morphing into a Tumblrite. Yeah. <laughs> Food with the dude says, retaking things to heart. My brother told me you're the reason people are homophobic and you're both gay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. That's so brutal. What the fuck? There is, there is no universe where that's okay. Holy shit. Did I send him the no Italians DNA? You know what? I think I might not have. Let me, let me see. I, I don't think I did. I did send him a co Oh, 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 oh. I have something I need to show all of you too. Um, but I don't think I sent it to him. No, I have, I have not sent it to him, but I absolutely need to. Thank you for reminding me. But I remembered. Look, I know I'm dragging out stream even more, but I, I have something I need to show all of you. Let me see. I think it's in download. Yeah, it's in downloads. Here we go. Oh, so, ow, that was loud. That was loud. That was loud. That was loud. 
It just started playing immediately. I should have, like, muted desktop. Uh, here we go. I... <laughs> I love this. Stupid man thing! I'm fucking bawling! <laughs> Stupid man thing! I'm fucking bawling! Stupid man thing! I'm fucking bawling! <laughs> Hold on a second. You know who I need to send this to? I'm sending this to Chris. I'm sending it right now. For some reason, that just says Chris energy. Like Chester, the otter. I, I don't... You know how when you find something, you find something stupid and you're like, you know who would love this? This person. I just had that moment. One more time. Stupid man thing. I'm fucking bawling. <laughs> God, that's incredible. Oh, I'm happy. So, hey, art. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my God, I have so many tabs open. This stream has been a nightmare. So first, we <laughs> we have a piece of art from DV Screams, and this is this is so good, you guys. Still March seventeenth. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm gonna put on. I love Reshiram, married to Reshiram, at one point five times speed again. That's going to be our art music. I love That's is that a little loud? It's a little loud. This is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> is that red? Is that red doing a Fortnite dance? And of course, Froggy song. I love the frog. Ugh. Can we get some froggies in chat? I I love this rendition of Lauren. Still March 17th. Thank you. Thank you very much, DV Screams. This is excellent. And we have, oh boy, Frank's getting on my ass. Says, since it was fitting for today's stream, here's a small thing that has been miscommunicated about the most important thing. Waifu versions of Lauren. <laughs> so we have the, the Lauren cute waifu design. Which is the the unique one. Then we have the um, the Xenoblade design. So that there are differences. Get your fucking waifus right. This is so yeah. You know what? This doesn't deserve uh, Reshiram. This is actually nice. People want to see this. No, I duly noted. Thank you. I like this. Exposed cleavage, no sexy. No exposed cleavage, no sexy. And very important. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, Frankie. And these are wonderful pieces of art in and of themselves. Amazing pelvis, no sexy. <laughs> Do we ever land on a name for Lady Lauren? Everyone has a different name. Everyone has a different name for her. Oh, um, there there was a slight change, apparently. Um, just a, a thing about the sleeve design. Sorry I showed the first one, Frankie. Frank. We have another Frank. No, it's fine. Pile on the Franks. Oh, God. Shala is uh, working on an animation. A few of these are downloadable Creative Commons licensed assets, which I'll credit in the finished animation. Also, those are darts in Coin Man. I'm, I'm excited. Oh my god, there's an NFT 
garbage bucket, the Chrono Trigger House Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. <laughs> oh no. I'm nervous. Keep us updated, Shala. And Ika Pika is back with more. <laughs> is back with more... Oh, what, what are the light novels? Fucking light novel names. My sister was a fleshy goddess of a some sort of cult from another world somehow, but now she's slaving away as an unreal estate agent harpy to support my emo lifestyle. I... Okay. I remember... I, I watched Sarah Zed's video on the author, on the person claiming to be the author of My Immortal, but it actually was just a decade of a person creating alt accounts to, like, call themselves out. Just incredible. And then, what? what is, oh no, I'm scared. Hold on, I'm scared. She's still a god. Why? The concert now cancelled. Well, what can you do? Ah, God is dead. You do remember that I am a god, right? <laughs> oh my god. All of the different Lorens interacting with each other in one <laughs> god. I've okay so the the irony of this is I feel like I'm not even allowed to like I'm not allowed to have a hand in this right like this is something I I have to let be on its own how does it feel to be a genre I'll take it <laughs> uh and we have more from Ika Pika and it's it's a Holy Grail reference, so of course I'm going to be happy. When suddenly, the animator suffered a fatal heart attack. When... <laughs> now I have a massive burnout. Oh, Ika Pika. Take, look, look after yourself, okay? Everyone... <laughs> We are more than satisfied. You have made so much Lauren content. We have so much Lauren content. <laughs> Thank you, Ika Pika. Wait, it's all Lauren? Always has been. Always. <laughs> Farah has some art for us, too. He could have shrimps for arms. Yeah? Your throwaway joke is my command. You know, I want you to know that the reason I paused wondering what I should say about Lauren, like, I, I need something funny for arms, knowing full well that someone very well might make art of it. I was like, I don't want to say shrimp, but it's the only thing I can think of for some reason. So I said shrimp, and I, there was a part of me that knew that this was coming. So thank you, Far. <laughs> thank you for fulfilling my my worst fears. Also, never realized I, po I never posted. I also realized I never posted the Lauren I drew for Little Standee separately. So here he is. Aw, the boy, the the fucking w wingy. He's a wingy boy. See, I'm so afraid to say something like that because I'm because I'm worried that someone in chat is going to be like, actually, that's a slur, or that sounds a lot like a slur. You know what it is? It's the naked burning turkey, like, syndrome. I have naked burning turkey syndrome. <laughs> I'm afraid that someone's going to be like, actually, that sounds like a slur. <laughs> when I say anything... That isn't an actual... See, I, I said actual words for that. I said actual words for that and people thought it was a slur. I'm not even safe if I just say normal words. I have been permanently scarred. Yes, Timothy. I'm never going to be better. We have more art from Farah. But make it sadder. <laughs> Poor Kirpe. 
Oh, we we will have. Uh, so next time I stream, we will have at least two more emotes, if not three. The emotes continue to to pile in, and then pretty soon we'll be full up. Then we'll just have our um two animated emotes. Thank you, Farah. Cringe. Oh, 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 Mr. Bear. Oh, Mr. Bear. This is so precious. Look at this. Back home and wanted to do some quickies for Lauren. Glad to be back so I can get back to watching an owl undercover uncover the weird parts of the old web. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren is not real. Yeah. <laughs> God, look at look at that face. Oh. This is so good, Stir Bear. Absolutely precious. <laughs> Clueless. Forgot to eat because working. This It's so true. I just, I forget to eat so often. Oh, and I, I love this. I love, I love the way he's holding the teacup. It's so polite. Oh, so much more polite than I actually am. I, look, I want you all to be proud of how little I have been bringing up cum in these streams. Be proud of me. There are my compliments. There are my compliments. Starry Feathers is back with another collage. I call them a collage, but it's it's a sketch page. They're, they're, they're sketch pages. More tangents. Yeah, over half the stream was just tangents, and people were here for it. Gut gemacht. Yo. It's, see, my problem is I... My time in Austria is spent in Steiermark, and so I'm learning, like, Steiermark terms. Steirish terms. I'm- so, I, I habitually say yo now, instead of ja. And a biesel. A biesel obatten. <laughs> yeah, it's- it's the Steirish dialect. It's- it's seeping into me. I, uh, people who don't speak German won't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but it's, um, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger comes from, uh, Steiermark, and he, he's not allowed to do the German dub of his own movie, like, wh uh, when he was the Terminator, because they didn't think anyone would, um, they didn't think that anyone would take him seriously, because it's kind of a, a hick accent a little bit. <laughs> so people would be like oh he's just imagine if the terminator sounded kind of like this that's what it would have been like kind of a, a decent comparison already there is there is some good there is some good here <laughs> the people's sub I break the rules wherever I go. And is that a zone? Is that a zone, zone style, Lauren? <laughs> Wait, that was literally a bit they did in one Terminator movie. Seriously, that's incredible. Oh, the piss take on that in the newest. I didn't realize they did that for a new Terminator. That's fantastic. Is it a good comparison? Okay, okay. Thunk. The people's sub phrasing. <laughs> Communism is sharing the sub. Hey. <laughs> All leaf, no sexy. <laughs> no sexy. God, this is amazing. And then, is this no Italians? <laughs> oh, why are there multiple froggies? Multiple froggies. Lauren Baldi's Pokemon fans. I did. <laughs> Unhappy nerd. <laughs> Fucking. Okay, so hold on. Who have who have I alienated so far this stream? Uh, people who say that they are empaths. Um, gamers in general. Um. Uh, Pokemon fans specifically, Nintendo fans specifically, uh, who else? Um, 
Austrians, <laughs> people who call themselves quirky, um, maybe other kin. I feel like I feel like I've done that for other kin. I've alienated other kin. Uh, I'm just eventually I'm just going to alienate everyone, and my stream will be three people. Oh, people who support Marjorie Taylor Green. I and I've I've definitely alienated them because I was making fun of her for not knowing what an abstention vote is. Uh, <laughs> when she's in fucking Congress, she doesn't know the base. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Do not interact if you like tomatoes. I, I feel like I've only barely dipped my toe into anything political. Do you think anyone who supports her watches these streams? Probably not. <laughs> Stimmt. <laughs> oh, oh no, leaf, leaf, love, <laughs> madness, <laughs> stress, reaches 100 stress. <laughs> and the fucking Amoogus going, pee pee in your pampers. Chess Mogus. <laughs> No, little owl. Don't go into the weed cave. Oh my god, this is a cave full of blood smoking. <laughs> oh no, the sad emote. Inconsolable. Then... <laughs> Speak German. No. <laughs> is that... D did someone clip that? What did I sound like? What did I even sound like? Also... Again, if you want me to speak German, the, the longest phrase I'm going to be able to say is, Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Wie cool ist das bitte? Ich zocke Fortnite und trink Cola. Yippie! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, we actually ran out of walking dog music in the playlist. I am supporting him on Patreon, by the way. Italian. Yeah. Fuck, kill, and marry. Yeah. Perfection. Zagreus is perfection. Kill me just, like, comes back out of the river sticks. River sticks. Oh, no. <laughs> is that birdly stabbing me with a pencil? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ich kann in den Bohnenraum gehen. Yippie! <laughs> that means I can go into the bean room. <laughs> Mintusi. Fusion. Ha, or a fusion of Lauren and Mask Boy. Also, oh, Lauren can be whatever. I can be what what is it? I can be your angle or your devil. <laughs> All these flags look red to me. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sketch page, Starry. These are these are always fantastic. A good summation of the energy of stream. Oh, and look at this pencil sketch. This is sick. Crazy Ace King. A quick sketch I did. Love the look. Quite regal, yet messy. I, it, I feel like the messiness actually adds to the, the regal look of it. Love this. I love... I, I think, like, in my head, my favorite version of Lauren is, like, wing on the arm. and Or, like, fe like longer feathers on the arm and then talon at the end. Kind of, kind of the harpy-ish. Because, like, then he can actually grab stuff and make tea. And it's good. It's good. I I see him like I don't know. My my head cannon is shapeshifter, gotta fly, make wing. I'm like th this is how you can tell I'm getting the VTuber brain rot is I'm like coming up with cannon. This is awesome though. <laughs> I think that's about it. Thank you so much everyone. This is this is I been 
an interesting stream. Eventually, I'm, like, going to say something that gets me canceled, like... And I, I feel like I keep saying things that people could almost say, like, oh, Fred said this thing and, and it was wrong or bad. The corruption from Mary is working. God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rising Pressure has a, a bit of fan art. Hold on. On Imgur. We have, we're not quite done. What if I copy-paste? Is this just going to be a... Oh, it's not a penis. Oh, no. Oh, this is cursed as shit. Okay, okay, I'll put it on. <laughs> Writing call-out post now. VTuber syndrome is insidious. Yeah. Now, one day I'm going to get cancelled. Like, I, I, I say the wrong thing. Like, there was legitimately a part of my brain where it's like, I'm going to do the summation of what Soviet Russia did, and then someone's going to be like, No! <laughs> no, you're wrong. And you're bad, and you got facts wrong, so you're a bad YouTuber. How can I trust you now? <laughs> uh... And then, like, the, the the whole, um, like, you can always get more money thing. It's like, for, for funny money. Come on. <laughs> for Eve Online. I, I could see people seeing that as, like, real life money. Anyway, uh, so we have one last curse piece of art. Uh, gr great. Great. Gr great. 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 Part, no, good. Good. Yeah, if I get canceled for anything, it's gonna be fucking this. Ugh. Ugh. Did, did someone just use their first time chat message to just do a, a limes being unhappy emote? <laughs> I feel like that is a very good summation of stream as well. Yeah, first first time here. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stream ist fertig. We, uh, you know what? Let's see. Let's go bother Kirpe. Let's give Kirpe some love. Uh, and our raid, ra uh, um, our, our raid message is going to be raids are a red flag. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for the stream. We went over time today. It's funny because I felt like I was kind of low energy today, but I mentioned this before, and I say that phrase a lot, but stream invigorates me in an odd way. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all again very soon. Tuesday. Bye. Uh, God, I need to actually do the thing.